Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh god. Oh. That was not the best idea. Nice. Traffic simulation is a tough nut to crack, though, for a game that has to track so much else at the same time. Oh boy. Oh, this feels very precarious. Oop. 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 Okay. <laughs> hey, it worked. Okay, I'm calling that a win. This way. Oh. Nice move. Oh. I have a bad feeling about this. I want the extra science, so let's go with that. I'll try for the hanging gardens. I don't think I'm going to get it, but we'll try it. Oh! Hi! <laughs> Remembered at precisely the wrong fraction of a second. <sighs> okay. Oh. Ooh, good job, Lobover. Yes. It's a good thing she has the worst helmet ever. Only problem is, she seems to circle around in exactly the direction I need to go. So this is going to end badly. You have the worst! What the hell? I have no words. How did I not get caught? What the heck? I know, Nobby. It's almost like it remembers that we already looted the entire place. How dare they. You think you're so scary, sir, but you're dead. You don't even know it. I am so confused. Oh, no, no. Ah. Maybe if I run real fast, we can just clear right through there. Okay. Maybe not. I mean, I know I'm supposed to be the great hero of the liberation and all that crap, but come on. Sorry. Oh, what the heck? Look at this, this is gorgeous. Is this a freaking trinary system with red, with literal RGB suns? Wow.
Two for one. You had a free pass right into their base. Gotcha. First try. You fought well, but we're finished. Nope. <laughs> okay, that's a new combat technique I had never considered before. Sam, another memory prompt? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Sam node on the Hyperion to investigate further. <laughs> oh my god. Watch out for that. What the? What? What is going on? What? At this point, I should probably be level one or two. I'm level... What level am I, actually? 54. Oh, let me guess what that's going to be. Oh. Hey, I was wrong. Good afternoon, folks, and welcome back to the Library of Lore on an unusual day. Uh, yeah, we don't usually stream on Monday afternoons here, but... We're doing it today because of last Saturday, so thank you guys for being here. It's good to see you, Aaron Lore. Enjoy your lurk. Sketchy, how's it going? What's going on? I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. We are going to do some Anno today, so let's get the game running. And I will pop over. There we go. <clears throat> so how is everyone? How was your weekend? Mine was pretty good. And... Uh, yeah, I've been looking forward to getting back into this game. I really enjoyed that first stream we did of it. Oh, crap. You know what I forgot to do? <laughs> Maybe I'll do this over my next break. I, uh, I neglected to... I neglected to post that I'm live. Ubisoft, what are you doing? It's popping up confirmation after confirmation. Okay, now it's finally preparing to launch the game. <laughs> I am not a bit, uh, uh, okay, never mind. We had a compatibility troubleshooter error pop up, but now it does look like the game is actually launching. Fingers crossed. Well, I mean, professional gamer usually kicks in after the game successfully launches, not before. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. And now it's in OBS too. Okay. I think we're maybe okay. This might be all right.
Lumberjacks huts don't need to wait for a forest to grow if they've already built in a if they're already built in a lush forest. Did you know you can copy streets? You can use this function to copy entire building blocks, streets included. That sounds pretty handy. Going all right. Excellent, Sketchy. Iron into steel, steel into arms, and we shall have fulfilled our first royal commission. Okay, iron into steel. I mean, I suppose that means we probably need to acquire steel first. Steel beams are the foundation of industrialization. We need iron. Okay. We need an iron mine and a charcoal kiln. So there's the there iron mine. Charts while your father still lived. No use dragging it out now he's gone. All oh, right, I have to remember how to play again. Uh, that's fine. Let's go to forest. about a warehouse nearby so we got to get one of those set up too so where's uh, that's farmer residence that's marketplace that here there we go small warehouse so let's pop that right in there that'll make them happy and we need a charcoal kiln apparently um, let's put this down here I was kind of assuming they were going to cut the trees for the wood to make the charcoal, but they might actually... Huh. Um... Let's relocate you there. Nobody enjoys a life surrounded by pollution. You can check your island's contamination levels in your city's attractiveness menu. Culture, zero. Nature, 314. Festivity, zero. Vulgarity, minus 28. Pollution, minus five. So not too bad so far. Instability, none. Hannah is the main character's sister. She's not really giving orders so much as giving guidance. Okay, we have another iron deposit. Yeah, they have a very interesting way of presenting the story in this game. I'm sure we'll see more of it as we go. Should be pretty interesting. The story is pretty good so far. Basically, uh, the main character's father died and was considered by many to be a traitor. And his brother, your uncle basically dictated that he was going to inherit everything and left uh, you and your sister out in the cold and your sister used the last of her money to buy this island which is what you're using as your base of operations to found a new competing company and you're going to destroy your uncle for all his evil ways.
Oh dear, dear, dear. The farmer is disappointed at your failure? It's a shortage of farmer workforce in ditch water. Okay. Let's maybe consider getting some new people hanging out around here then. We've got a warehouse here. Okay, we do have a few more houses. Um, farmer residences. Okay. Now, I don't actually expect we're going to make a huge amount of progress with this particular playthrough. We started with an awful lot of money, and it's dropping pretty quickly, and I'm not familiar enough with the game and its mechanics yet to turn a profit. So this is still very much a learning game, and I expect I'm going to have to restart. Um... Okay, yeah, we probably want to look at getting another firehouse in. So I'm going to pop that in right there. And it seems to me the iron miners are probably going to enjoy a trip to a tavern once in a while. So we'll put a pub in. Why is that not working? Why is that blueprint mode? Nice day for it. Schnapps Distillery. Okay, I need. Um, I probably need more timber production. Uh, we're doing okay with schnapps. Fishing is good. We... <clears throat> cool. Lots of iron. No steel. to the whole concept of charcoal. What's going on here? Wait, it... It's producing coal? I don't think that's how that works, but okay, let's run with that for the moment. That suggests that, yeah, okay, we need a furnace. So we're gonna pop that right here. You are trying, at least. I know Samuel wouldn't have given up. Samuel was your father. Heavy industries produce at a slower rate. You can temporarily adjust working conditions to increase productivity. I am not that impatient. It's fine. No harm in a bit of fun, a bit of filth. Keeps the oil lit when work's waned your wick. 78 of 100. Okay, so it seems like maybe we need more people again. 
I don't want to cluster them too close because I suspect that's going to be a massive source of pollution. So... I'm going to crowd them in a little bit down here. Where's our roads? Farmers, 494 of 800 for... Wait, what? 15 happiness. Workers, 19 happiness. What? Why? Why, why are the farmers not happy? What are we missing? Labor pool, plus 320. Jobs, minus 410. Islands balance, minus 90. Oh, God. Okay. Let's see if I can... First of all... Uh, nope. Wait. Nope. Hang on. Let's get another lumber industry stuff set up. We're going to do a lumberjack's hut right here. Because why not? It's not like we're low on workers. that accidental little bit of road. Now, I think we've already got a warehouse near here, don't we? That's a farm, that's a farm. There's a warehouse over there, so that's probably close enough. Yeah, so we've got more logs coming in now. So what we're going to do is... I'm bothered. Oh, market. <clears throat> Crap. Okay. What do we need for this? Planks. Right, and that was decreasing. Uh, yep, okay, I, yep, I got it, thank you. Sli <laughs> Timber, sliced tree, I like that. How's it going? Okay, I think we're probably going to end up needing a few more of those, but in the moment... Um, your people are happier in a clean environment. Your people dislike the austerity of your city. Your people are discouraged by bad news because I screwed up the newspaper thing. Your people appreciate having time for leisure. Your people like feeling safe from invasions. Oh, and now they need a pub. Okay, so let's expand the road out a little bit. There you go. I'm doing pretty good today, thank you.
very happy to be back in Anno. I have a lot to learn about this game. Workforce shortage. Yeah, I know. I know. That's okay. We're figuring it out. We'll get there. Seven planks. We need ten, I assume. Or at least I'm going to try it when we get to ten. Uh, what about decoration, Sketchy? No, it would not. It would help me with thinking the place looks nicer. That's about it. Decorations are cosmetic only. At least as far as I know. I might be wrong, but I doubt it. He was like part of the family. There we go. That's turned it. Now they're much happier. Excellent. Now, that doesn't mean they're happy everywhere. We make the best of what we have. Okay, they're doing all right. They're doing okay. Got a fire station going there. How are these folks doing? They're good? Okay. some of these upgraded if I can ah need planks okay to the roads. Lots of trees around here. We should get more lumber going. Okay, so we're working towards building a steelworks. What's that going to take? We've got the two iron mines. We've got a charcoal kiln. We've got the furnace. Steelworks. Needs eight planks, ten clay, and a thousand bucks. I guess one thing I'm going to have to learn at some point is how exactly to make money. And I think 
there was something there already. Depot. That's for building ships. Ooh, wait. Not too many changes, I hope. We can do gunboats. The editor announces the latest edition of the newspaper. Oh, uh, impeccable timing, as always. Factory worker shortfall. Lack of able workers causing problems for industry in ditch water. I told the Gov I don't have the experience to work in this section alone, said one chagrined employee wishing to remain anonymous. Edit. news you are happier than you think swing a pendulum before your eyes repeating I am happy you will immediately feel a positive change within or you should keep repeating it until you do Emily Gladstone attempts to help but only makes things worse it's all very well agreeing to do something provided you then do it so it's for sure. our leader wishing to remain anonymous people just about content Ditchwater is a dull, occasionally satisfactory place to live, according to residents. Why is this town so run-of-the-mill when it could be so very much more? We detail in full, pages 3 to 7, exactly what makes life here so bland. Uh, let's do consumerism here. I think they'll swallow it. Buying things makes us happy, so buy now to avoid disappointing your spouse later. Who knows, you may have an accident tomorrow. So spend as if it's your last day on Earth. Censorship is not always the cranny of the corrupt. Excellent. Okay. Small trading post. I think we have to use the trading post to make money. You gained an influence bonus. An influence bonus has been earned. Excellent. Sell one above sixty. Sell one above thirty. So they're not going to sell that yet but I'm gonna work on getting some more schnapps production as well. Hopefully this will help. Iron greatly increasing. Steel increasing. Okay, so I probably need another charcoal kiln so that I can increase my steel production. Because it looks like the pace of our iron production is greatly outstripping our charcoal and steel. Which is, you know, not a terrible thing. Construction menu, workers. I'm going to do some more stone road here. I'm going to drag that up. Let's get another charcoal kiln and we'll pop that in over there. Now let's take a look at more of these houses. We 
they still have too few workers. 58, okay. 48. Now, how's the worker happiness doing? Union. Your people still dislike the austerity of your city. Oh, uh, okay. They want a church. We have one, but it's apparently too far away. So I'm going to pop that in right there. And where's our stone road? We're going to drag this down here and over here. It's alright this, isn't it? Excellent. They need another pub. Distillery. Um, pub. Warehouse. Farmer. Marketplace. Where's, where's pub? We gotta have a pub. Where the heck is the pub? I just built one. Where is it? right next to the church. Perfect. Your people appreciate having time for leisure. Sir Archibald Blake fulfilled a trade in ditch water. Okay, now I couldn't help but notice that when I was looking at the shipyard earlier, I'm capable of building gun... No, wait. No, I'm not capable of building gunboats. I still owe, owe Archibald Blake two gunboats and a frigate. So that's the purpose of doing all this work on constructing steel stuff. So that we can do that and do the thing. Almost there. Almost there. Oh, we need more sausage. Okay, hang on. Uh... How is the sausage made? You don't want to know. Okay, now we're suddenly back to minus 47 worker. <laughs> Sausages, bags of mystery. Positive for both our farmer and worker workforces. Up with a lark this morning, I was. 
That's one thing I did not understand earlier in the first stream, is that by upgrading these houses, I thought it was just upgrading their capacity for holding people. I did not realize that I was transforming the workers within from farmers into actual workers, and thereby I was reducing my capacity to do farm work. Full output storage. Have you considered maybe moving some of the stuff to the warehouse right down the road? I guess I could also consider building another steel thing. Minus 81 workforce, oh my god. I am Gord McLeod of the Clan McLeod. There can be only one. Serb. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I have questions for Serb. First of all, was that charity? Did that go to the campaign? Oh god, you know what? I did all that work getting the extra life stuff set up and I forgot the extra life overlay so we can monitor progress on the campaign. Crap. Well, I'll have that ready for tomorrow. I don't think I can get that done. I might, well, I might be able to get it done over a break. I'll worry about it for tomorrow, though. But thank you so much for Zerp. <laughs> New buildings have been unlocked. Police station. Response to riots within range can mobilize additional units. Uh, do we have beer production on the island? No. Safer than water. Sadly, that's true. For beer, you need a grain farm. I have two of those. Your populace is feeling restless. Only the police can restore order in the event of a riot. Uh, okay... No, stop it. I doubt the TTS did, but what I did certainly... What? What? Yeah, um... Maybe I will try to get the... Uh, the Tiltify overlay up so that we can monitor the campaign. I completely spaced on that. I apologize, guys. But with the Tangia stuff, I have moved the Tangia down into the panels. And if you use... Uh, here, where is it? You don't have alerts? Oh, God. Yeah, okay. Uh, never mind. I'll get that for tomorrow. Sorry. I... <laughs> I was get, trying to get a lot done last night, and I got a lot done, but I apparently I've gotten frazzled. I was very tired. Um, where is... There we go. Yeah, so if you use the Tangia Donate link, you can get charity tokens for use with Tangia that will let you do interactions just as if you directly sent stuff through Tangia itself. Interactions sent by the extension will not count towards the charity goal. I didn't see that note, but I donated separately. You are too kind. Thank you so much. Uh, also, yeah. I'll have to see if maybe I can... Uh, no, I don't want to reuse my old alerts. I I can't stream and set up alerts at the same... Oh my god, for Zerp, what the hell? That is so generous. Um...
we are halfway to our goal, which I set at a certain number. And wow. Um, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Preserve. Enjoy your lurk. Uh, okay, so, um, okay, kind of frazzled now, but man. Uh, okay, let's. We still have extra farm. We are missing a vital good that cannot be produced on our island. You will have to find a way to import it. Uh, what? Could you be less cryptic, Hannah? What good and how do I import? I'm going to guess that importing is similar to selling. Small trading post. Um, consumer goods. We have coal. We have iron. Intermediate products. Flour. We have a fair amount of steel now. That's good. Tallow. Malt. Oh, it might be malt. Buy when under fifty. I can always cancel that if I find out how to actually do the thing. Malt house. Oh, maybe that's not it then. Hop farm, malt house. Let's try setting up another grain farm. Um, I don't want to take out... Oh, I'm not using this forest actually. This might be okay. There. How do? Uh, how do I? Ah, right. Bent he leered to one side. And dropped his snap all over the cobbles. There we go. You are not missing a grain field, it's right there. A farm? We know fields. Are you trolling me, game? The field is right... What do you call this? Workforce shortage. There. Okay. Does this mean I can do more? One forty two of one forty four. There we go. Okay. So we're producing extra grain. Picky, picky, picky.
let's likewise do a hop farm. No fertility of that sort there. Missing fertility? Well, that's not good. I wish they'd told me that there were fertility requirements. How do you... what? Uh, yeah, okay. We're gonna have to start over again, I think, guys. Because... We've just dropped below the $10,000 mark, and our balance is just getting lower and lower. We're accelerating in our descent into uselessness. Uh. So I think, I think it's gonna be seriously, no, stop that. Oh, wait a minute, actually, yes. Uh, where was that? What was that? Now that I want it, I can't find it. Fair Port Town, a place at least one person doesn't absolutely hate. So I think we're going to have to start over again, and we're going to have to do it in a way... I'm starting to kind of get my head around the economy a little bit better, and I definitely understand the workforce better. This fertility thing is throwing me for a loop, though. I don't know what to think about that. I wonder if maybe this is more fertile land, because it's brighter green. So let's maybe try moving you. Just you. I'm gonna put you over here. No, it's still missing fertility. How about back there? Still missing fertility. Great. Good. Got oil spring resources back here and a coal deposit. It's still weirding me out that you make charcoal and get coal as a resource from it. There's a lot of oil back here. Okay, this Anopedia is not terribly useful, I gotta say. Hey, Anstara, how's it going? Zinc deposit here. Okay, one moment. I need to Google this fertility thing. Anno 1800 malt fertility. What does missing fertility mean? Missing fertility is an alert many players will encounter in Anno 1800. For most players, this will occur when trying to build hops farms for use in beer or red pepper farms when trying to make canned food. Thankfully, knowing how to find fertile land isn't too difficult. You just need to know where to look. Okay, great. Stop with the intro. Just tell me. Um... 
If you want to grow something like hops and the warning message is shown, you have only one choice. Sail to another island and start another village. Oh, my God. Each island in the game can only support a small variety of food. In the campaign, the main island typically allows for potatoes, wheat, and grapes. Okay. Wow. Well, that certainly answers that. Going all right. Happy Monday after Remembrance Day, which is apparently cause for a lot of people in the country to be on holiday. Not here in Quebec, though. I, I honestly... I was so caught up with the family birthday stuff that I actually forgot it was Remembrance Day, ironically enough. But uh, I'm glad that a lot of people are having good holidays. Okay, so... Resume. It looks like this malt farm... Ooh. Come on, game. Settle down. We can just demolish that, because that's not doing anybody any good. Ditchwater has received a new attractiveness level. Quaint Port Town. Nice enough while still remaining deeply weird. How about a favor for a favor? Beryl Omara offers you a delivery quest. It's a simple business, see. Pick up Omara light at Omara's lighthouse. None of your business. Okay. Where's our ship? I could use the money. Aye. We do have a new schooner. Uh, where is Omara's lighthouse? Adjust the sail. Move one of your ships to the requested location. Workforce shortage. You can find it by clicking the quest in the game world. Where's my schooner? Welcome back, Preserve. The side effect of my own forgetfulness is that I was supposed to start work at 9 a.m. this morning instead of my usual noon and so slept in. Oh no! Oh, that's not good. Thank you again for Zerp. I'm still a little bit gobsmacked. I appreciate that so much. I will see if I can get the, uh, you know, the progress overlay up. I'm embarrassed that I overlooked that so heavily. It is. I always like to do charity stuff. Extra Life and St. Jude's are my two go-tos. What on earth? Was, that was not my ship, I don't think. Where are we? Here we are. Okay. All right. So she... Yeah, she's got a lighthouse over here. Got it. Okay. That's maybe another thing I ought to consider is actually doing a little bit more exploration every once in a while. <sighs> it's all coming together now. There you are. You got it. Deliver to Clipper ten tons of none of your business. On our way. A 
I love that they actually call it none of your business. I gotta say, I love the humor in this game. It's my kind of humor. Three minute warning, guys. We're gonna do a break in three minutes. It might end up being a slightly longer break than normal because I need to make myself some more coffee and I also need to see if I can get the charity overlay working. The good thing is that I have the Tiltify overlay still set up from previous years. In theory, all I need to do is switch out the URL to my current campaign and it should work. Hey Mio, how's it going? Had to run off suddenly? You are just in time to see the gradual crashing death of my game, but that's okay. I've learned a heck of a lot, and I think if we redo it, I can set us up for much better odds of success. I hope it wasn't anything too terrible, Aranor. Hopefully, like, it sounds like you resolved it pretty quickly, so I'm going to take that as a good sign. Oh. It's not fun, Aranar. I hope she's okay. clipper we're supposed to be going to it was in another dense area of fog so i assume maybe back here hopefully i think that's my island over there she has a platelet issue and so doesn't clot well so she's watching it Ooh, that does not sound fun Workforce shortage. Okay, so it's got to be somewhere back there. I need to start the break now, though, so if you guys will bear with me, I'm going to go make coffee and then I'm going to take a quick stab at getting the overlay working. So if you need to get up and grab something, now's a really good time, and I'll meet you back here in just a few. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll need this. Manual of style? Be nuts. Push power button. Push auto nav button. Pull throttle. <laughs> Please buckle your seat belt first. Buckle seat belt. Done. Pull throttle. Your door is a jar. No, my door is a door. Close pod door. Done. Pull. Uh-oh. <laughs> I was literally typing it. 
Gosh, Roger, it would appear you have met an untimely demise. With the explosive destruction of the Arcata, you become part of a fresh collection of space debris. This one cannot possibly fail. <laughs> okay. Realized I have not even started using bombs yet, and it's already almost gone. I don't put much stock in songs of deeds, but that battle was a verse worth singing. Holy crap. Now, Aloy, the door. I mean, I don't need to understand everything, but I can say I'm pr plenty confused. Did a compi just knock my Jeep back? What the what happened there? Wow. The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. Several hours later. My God. <laughs> oh, I apparently don't know anything about playing space games. Well, you're not going to learn by quitting. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Uh. Uh, yeah. So we're going to have to relaunch the game. It crashed on me, which, like I said in chat, maybe for the best, given how badly I mucked up that takeoff. So, I don't think I've ever had this happen before. constructed in Mayo. I would normally want to build wooden barracks in the earth rather than in mayonnaise, but, you know, construction techniques were a little more primitive back then. You gotta make allowances. Okay, I'm backing off. I'm backing off. No problem. Back! 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 <laughs> Retreating, going away, carry on. I think we're going to use the Michael Bolton Doug trio here that we just evolved. For science. This is bad. Okay, getting caught is bad.
<laughs> what the hell is this? Dude, it's not gonna work. Give it up. <laughs> People living near the volcano flee as lava and ash blankets the surrounding land. Okay, I am back. It turns out the overlay stuff was even easier than I expected. I do have one adjustment to make though, real quick. Okay, I think... Yeah, that'll work. Thank you, thank you, Aaron Lord. thank you, Sketchy. I just want it to be slightly transparent so that you can see what's going on in the game underneath it. Yes, build a trading post on an island with hops fertility. Deliver 10 tons timber and 8 tons steel beams to the island's coast to build the trading post. Settling new islands. See, if I had read that, I wouldn't have had to Google. But there you go. Where's my other ship? You're out here. New orders. Let's put that shady job behind you now. Then you're as good as your word. Excellent. Steersman. very interesting. Your clip show runs at, let's say, 100% sound, and you are now at about 40% or so by comparison, or is that just me? Uh, that could have a lot to do with where the mic is positioned relative to my face hole, and also the fact that the clips have been recorded over a number of years at various volume levels with a, you know, a couple of different microphones. Okay, so that little cash infusion helped a fair bit. I am Heshua Princess Ching. My father and mother sent me as an ambassador. Lord Dragon City. Princess brings a sense of magic to these shores. Well, uh, she runs her family subsidiary in these parts with as steady a hand as she can muster. She'll be glad to interact with you. Just make sure your intentions don't get lost in translation. big island over here and it looks reasonably unsettled unsettled island potato grain red pepper and grape fertility okay There's got to be land over here because there's birds, right? Also, that kind of looks like it might be something reflecting on the water. That's definitely something reflecting on the water. 
Is that just... Nope, that's a giant mountain. Okay. Hops fertility. That looks really easy to work. Oh, actually, okay, this isn't so bad. Populated island. Build trading post. I need steel for that, so I think we're going to have to send Enterprise back. Open the trade route menu. Assign a patrol route. Sir Archibald Blake fulfilled a trade. <laughs> I'm in danger. Danger? Why am I in danger? What's going on, Ben? What do you know that I don't? Oh, this is not my island. be in danger. Wow. Oh, we've got more islands back there. Actually, then where is my other ship? Where's the schooner? I'd like to see if I can get something closer to home. On our way. Let's go check this one out. We also have this little one here. What's this? Oh, that one's occupied. We assist however we may. Mara and Anne Harlow have agreed to a ceasefire. Just spent most of my day on Minecraft exploring and gathering resources. I gotta try Minecraft again. Rain fertility. Ho oh, it does have hops. This is perfect. Okay. Enterprise, where are you? How do I load cargo onto it? Uh, I really wish we could pause the game. Where's... No, that's escort. We don't want escort. We want the ship menu. Transit. No. Transfer. There we go. If I see another biscuit. Wait, do I need steel or do I need steel beams? Um, 
Oh crap, it's steel beams, not steel. Okay, we have more work to do. shame in producing weapons if it is in defense of the realm, eldest. It's all prepared. What? What? Preserve. Oh my god, thank you so much. What the heck? We're not even two hours into the first stream of the charity fundraising season. Oh my god, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Uh... Hang on, wrong browser. Man, I was still kind of caught in my St. Jude fundraising mindset where I had the misfortune of beginning the St. Jude fundraising immediately after I changed my schedule dramatically and everything was in a shambles on the stream. Uh, okay, where are we? Where's my dashboard? I did it again with Tangia so I can spam Tangia to my heart's content on your stream until those tokens don't count anymore. I don't know that those are going to... I Actually, I legit don't know if those tokens expire. Um... Oh, okay, okay. Um, let's see. Sorry, I've got m too many sites to do here. How, where do I? <laughs> I, I was not prepared. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Thank you so much, Frizzer. I really appreciate that. I should create a competing service and name it Beigia. <laughs> That's amazing, Frizzer. Thank you. You've seen what I do on Ultra Stream sometimes. That's true, but I mean, seeing it in is, is one thing. Expecting it on your own channel is something completely different. Uh, okay, now. Okay, so we've got our first steel beam. We just need nine more and we're good. Uh, and then we'll see where things go. Now, I don't suppose we have any technology that's going to improve the lot of our workers here, do we? God, oh my god, our worker workforce. I think we need more farmers to turn into workers. This is why I'm kind of, oh my Jesus, look at our money. Yeah, we're running ourselves into the ground. We're going to start over again as soon as this crashes and burns, which it's going to do very shortly. Um, but that's okay, because I think I got a much more solid idea of what I need to do now. And the very first thing that I did wrong was I, I set this up to go from objective to objective to objective to objective, which is perfectly fine when you're just trying to learn the game. But it means that I wasn't thinking at all ahead to things like, well, okay, it's telling me that I need to do a marketplace and I need to get a timber industry set up 
I was just basically setting up, okay, we did our timber industry, that's it, move on, what's the next thing? Fishery, and then schnapps production, and farmer clothing, work clothing. I wasn't really thinking of anything other than fulfilling the most basic minimum necessities and not really considering the need to produce extra so that we had a good financial base to support everything that was coming. So I think that's what we're going to have to do next time is start a bit slower and start a little bit excessive on production so that we end up with some nice surpluses so that we can uh, just completely be ready and dominate everything. I only do it with permission. If you don't want cursed TTS, let me know and I never will. Actually, that's I, I, I avoided TTS stuff for many, many years because I was afraid of what the community would do with it. But I think you guys, you you know me and I know you well enough at this point that I think I can, no I can get away with enabling the TTS stuff. So I'm okay with it. I'm all right with it. I mean, if trolls come in and they do stuff that's actually cursed and actually horrible, that would be a different matter, but... I'm seeing a bunch of donation things below in the Children's Miracle Hospital St. Jude and a Tangia thing. Which one is Extra Life? Uh, oh, St. Jude is still there? Children's Miracle Hospital and Tangia are both Extra Life. St. Jude is not, and I really... Here. I really need to pay attention to my own panels. Where's St. Jude? We do not need this one. There you go. Sorry about that. That's, that's my fault. Like I said, I was tired last night getting this all set up, and I spaced on the fact that I still had St. Jude up. By cursed, I mean I just break it. What would we ever do that would make you afraid? What would you ever do that wouldn't, is my counter. And I think that's fine for Zerp. Also, Ultra and I are in discussions about potentially sharing our custom TTSs between our streams. That's not a thing yet. I don't have hers on mine and vice versa, but that is coming. Or at least I think it's coming as long as she's down for it. Oh, man. Minus 471. Look at that money just pour out. I don't have a wallet, I have a sieve. This is what I mean, Gord. No, 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 I think that's fine, Berserk. <laughs> that was GLaDOS, oh my god, wow. Except she doesn't break. Got it. Now, when they break... The editor has published the newspaper as was agreed. How are our people faring now that we've had the news come out? It's all how you're born, isn't it? Your people are discouraged by... But we just had a new newspaper. Rude. Um... It doesn't just go on forever without ever stopping, does it? As long as it, as it does that, it would be an ultra clip. That's fine. You can do an ultra clip. Uh, in fact, you're a sub, so I don't think you actually technically need permission. I think you can just post it. It stops, then that's okay.
you know, if it broke to the point where it n literally never ended, that would be another thing. Uh, farmer. Let's... for Optimus turning Japanese. I don't recognize the description, but it's possible. easy it is to relocate something that you placed badly. Oh, actually, I... <laughs> Thank you for posting that, but I just realized I can't actually watch it while I'm on stream, so I don't know how good that's going to be as far as help goes, but I think I get the idea at least. I think it should be fine. There you go. Plus 83... subdivision down here and I'm going to assume this is going to require other things let's do Gwen Borgato has arrived at the library seeking lore if you wish to make an apple pie from scratch, you must first invent the universe. Carl Sagan. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Let's get them a pub. And I might need some more farms. Just don't put Optimus Prime on there and you're good. He's the most broken. Okay. And we could probably use one of these things too, a firehouse. Um, marketplace would probably not go poorly. And that's gonna mean we're gonna want a small warehouse. And, oh. Our money is actually getting better. I mean, it's not going to save us. We're going to be bankrupt within minutes, but that's good to know. You say put Prime on there. I actually have to go through and disable things specifically, so chances are pretty good that Optimus Prime is already there. Unless I tested it and decided it was so bad and broken that I didn't like it, and in that case, I might have disabled it, because I did do that for a few voices. I don't remember specifically whether Optimus Prime was one of those. We're in Clover! OK. 
Okay. They seem good so far. We have lots of farmers. We do need more of a worker workforce. Um, so I'm going to upgrade a few more of these buildings to worker style. Weapons are essential to the construction of military ships and buildings. Okay, that's... Yeah, but... Yes, I... Ugh. Weapon factory... We need workers to do the thing, Elizabeth. Oh, right. Uh, I don't need a... Minus ninety three. I should run out of timber again. Okay, we'll have to wait a bit on that then. Okay, minus 70, that's improving. Still right here, I suppose? doesn't have enough people to upgrade. You gotta wait for people to move in. No, actually, I can't forget. Oh my god! We're gaining money? Did I actually manage to turn this ship around? Maybe temporarily, because that was a dramatic redu reduction in it, income there in just a few seconds. Holy crap, guys. In a way, that kind of makes me want to restart more, because if I've managed to gain enough knowledge of how the game works to turn that around that quickly, then I think starting out with that kind of knowledge might be even better. I'm not going to just abandon the playthrough, though. I'm going to keep going with it. We'll see how it goes. bit here is a busy street. Let's get that paved. No, you mean Klingon. Is it my imagination, or do they move a lot faster on the paved streets than on the farm streets? Might be my imagination. It kind of looks like some of these guys are just zooming.
Okay, anyway. Transfer. I have 13 steel beams. Which means we can send Enterprise out to found our second island. Hey, there's a shipwreck. That's cool. Oh. Oh, what happened? We're in the red again. Oh, okay. We're just kind of teetering on the edge. But it seems like we're in the positive more than Rose. the negative. Where we're going, we don't need roads. <laughs> I do love that sound one. Can't afford it. <laughs> I need two thousand five hundred bucks. Uh, yes, completely agreed, Ben. And also, one of the very few movie franchises I actively hope gets remade at some point, or not remade. Actually, I should say like a, a full-on reboot, simply because we are in the middle of a very very tight window right now where if you told the story of Marty McFly traveling back 30 years it would be a completely different story now than it was in 1985 when the first movie came out because a teenager traveling back 30 years from now would be traveling into a completely different world whereas in the original movie 1985 and 1955 looked pretty different, but they still functioned pretty much identically to one another. The only serious difficulty that he actually faced that was not caused by interacting with people was his difficulty opening a bottle of Pepsi. That was the hardest challenge he had. Everything else he knew how to do. I am, Matt. It's been a really good afternoon. How are you doing? It's really good to see you. Oh, God, no. Dude, <laughs> holy crap. Do not wipe the island. That's a very... Man, you really have to watch this interface carefully. Let's set some more cell options here. Cell went above 50. Oh, man, what happened to our fish stocks? It's all gone. Cell went above 50. Uh, where's 50? Actually, you know what? If I'm going to be selling bricks like that, let's... No trade. We'll keep that, we'll make bricks, we'll sell the bricks instead. Nope. Wrong. Same with the pigs. No trade pigs, we'll sell sausage.
Okay. A teen born in, say, 2007 or whatever, going back to 1993, would be faced with a paradigm where the internet doesn't even really exist yet. Yes. There were some very hungry sharks that we had to pay projection money in fish so they wouldn't wreck the joint. Got it. Yeah, it happens. What can you do? Those loan sharks are really, really awful at times. Okay, we are just barely eking out a profit here. And I might be able to improve that. Oh, these are not quite ready to upgrade yet. Well, the internet as a teenager would understand and know it for sure. The internet did exist. It's existed since the 1960s. It would not have been at all recognizable or, oh my god, what happened to my income? Uh... That was a sudden turnaround. They wouldn't be able to deal with the dial-up. They, uh, they wouldn't know that dial-up existed to be able to deal with it. <laughs> The lack of Google is a pivotal change. Just finding stuff on the internet was enough of a pain back then. Yep. I actually took a class in college on how to use Archie, Jughead, and Veronica in the Gopher system for locating things on the internet. Try explaining that to a kid. And here is where we collapse and I restart. <laughs> I don't know where all that money just suddenly went, but yeah, we're done. We're about to hit rock bottom. And oh, oh, it lets you go into the negative. I think, though, this is probably a good time to restart it. We're, I, I don't know that we're going to recover from this. And I think now... I'm certainly no master of the game, but I can definitely do better. So we're going to go back to the title screen. We're going to start a brand new game. We're going to do campaign again. So you guys who didn't get to see how the story started and what the story actually is, you'll get a chance to see it. So we're going to pick our guy here. We're going to go with our knowledge tree again. G.W. Brewster. I actually kind of like that one. We're going to do that one. Wikipedia didn't exist either. I remember having a discussion in the early 2000s with my dad. He was very skeptical about Wikipedia because he didn't know how you could trust crowdsourced information. In retrospect, it's pretty amazing that Wikipedia has become extremely reliable. Yep, it's true. All right, let's give this another shot, shall we? Since that day you saved my life, I have presumed I knew you. But now, a thousand letters from your father go unopened, yet one scribble from your sister changes everything. I didn't even know you had a sister. We are broke, old pal. We can't afford a passage back to your old world, back to your family. 
not unless you suddenly remembered what work is. I've heard of work. Dynamite fishing. You're serious? <laughs> well, the village north is always short on food. Remember when we escaped the pits back when? Still some dynamite. Here it is. I just get plenty. Saw a video a few years back of a guy asking a kid if he knew what a floppy disk was, and the kid said it was a 3D printed save icon. Yep. Yep. That's a thing. You do have an eye for opportunity. After all, it's not TNT the locals are short of. <laughs> What the chimichurri was that boom? Still trying to get used to that smell of char. Come on. Listed fish they could ever want. All the blistered fish they could ever want. Deliver packet steamer office tr 33 tons bang, charge. I fish. knew it was you. So come show me what you got this time. You're gonna love it. It's the newest innovation. Uh, where is it we're going? It's up here, right? Over here. Ah, that burnt reek. Ugh. Hand over whatever it is and I'll help you get rid of it. Here are your tickets. Hurry, drifters. The boat is leaving soon, and nobody wants you to miss it. Okay, off we go. So, this is it. We're leaving paradise behind. You never talked much about family and the like. But you're dead serious about this, aren't you? No matter. I made a vow to defend you. And I don't break an oath. Even if a blind man could see you leap into the deepest pit of dung. So off we go. I have never asked anything of you, Firstborn. Not when you stole away a tiptoe, leaving the family burden at your little sister's door. Our father oh, is accused of high treason. Dare you to believe it? Will you now stand I by, knowing shaken. gentle father is in dungeon? It must kill him. Please come home. We need you. Is it really you, dearest sibling? I never dared hope you'd yep. return. I'm restarting do on Sarah. Remember Bright Sands. Of course you do. We loved it here. It's changed now. The Royal Council support Uncle Edvard. Father barely cold, and he's pulling everything down. I ran out of money in the other game. I knew what was coming. All those houses. You never said how wealthy you were. Why were we selling fish and sleeping in barns? For the fun. Never told your friend of good and sons. There is much to be said, but not now. Dear father's funeral begins. Where have you been? 
Without you brats, we'll never be done with this obligation. Looks like death claimed the wrong brother. You are not no wrong, matter, sir. So few are here. When they are the few he loved most. Nobody likes a traitor, let alone his tainted offspring. Better make yourself scarce. You bring light in. How's it going? We shall, dear sibling, for now. I have acquired a small island with the last of my funds and passage for all still loyal to father. Together, we shall clear his name or die trying. Your sister reminds me of you. Must mean new adventures await, old pal. This is it. Ditch water. End of the world. I hope you like it quiet. Okay then, and here we are. A brand new beginning. Alright. Chapter 1. A Tale of Two Brothers. Yep, that's the name of our island, or at least the settlement on the island. What? Still here? Establishing a rival company? On that disheveled island? Yes, Uncle. You Let don't have to Uncle like Edvard it. Edvard scoff. A modest island, yes, but if you are at all like father, you'll look beyond appearances. Okay, we're gonna start we off. Shelter the good, loyal people who have shown solidarity with our family. Do you remain here out of spite? Or is this some futile attempt at competition? As you are so desperate to appear responsible, you'll be pleased to hear the cost of that fantastical funeral falls to you. Miserly, uncharitable dastard, picking and choosing what he inherits. Get our market there. You reached a new milestone. Age of Agriculture. Timber, very good. I'll try not to think of the coffin. And a warehouse. This building has been constructed as a... Oh no, I wonder if I've done it again. We put our love into this. Oh boy. No, actually, I think we're okay. I think we might be okay. It's the marketplace and the warehouse. Oh, the warehouse, though. We'll have to see. We've got, see what we've got these Edward done. Prince and Bright Sands. This may be exactly the problem. child, is it? Thank heavens. I am so ashamed of every single word your uncle had me print. Traitor dies mysteriously in prison. Report Samuel Good couldn't face humiliation of a trial. Miserable few at funeral still more than Judas ever deserved. Mr. Edward Good speaks a bold new era for Good and Sons, nobly bearing the burden terrible traitor brother dropped at his door. He twists every article in his favor at our and father's expense. We have to really hope that I can get enough lumber produced to construct this warehouse. Because we need that. I may have used too many planks, which I did once before and I had to restart the whole game. I mean, not that there's a lot to restart at this point, but we'll see. I think we're actually okay because they are storing planks in the uh, in the trading post, so we might be all right here. I think we're going to be okay. Three minute warning, by the way. We have another break coming up in three minutes. Now, what is going on here? What are they? Why are they? What? Why are they destroyed? 
What happened? <laughs> Your city has grown more beautiful. Jesus, okay. I don't suppose I've got an auto save. Let's get rid of these. They're confusing. GW Brewster, saved games. Oh, no, wait. Well, we might be restarting by default, depending on where this reloads. Probably not a terrible thing. I, I'm concerned about why all those buildings were destroyed, though. I haven't had that happen. Oh, this is perfect. This is precisely perfect. This is before I screwed up, what? potentially. Still here? Establishing a rival company? on that disheveled island. Okay, first... Let Uncle Edvard scoff. A modest island, yes, but if you're at all like father, you'll look beyond appearances. Do you remain here out of spite? Or is this some futile attempt at competition? As you are so desperate to appear responsible, you'll be pleased to hear the cost of that fantastical funeral falls to you. Miserly, uncharitable, dastard, picking and choosing what he inherits. Timber, very good. I'll try not to think of the coffin. Hey, Redamar. You reached a new milestone. This is really fun. I really enjoy this. This is the second time I've streamed it, and I've had a really good time each time. And we do need the warehouse. Everything you've built so far consumed wood. We'll be needing more of it to continue. Hence the timber. Locate that. Let's bring that up here. Nope. See what slander Edvard Prince and Bright Sands. There. Samuel's child, is it? Thank heavens. I am so ashamed of every single word your uncle had me print. Okay. He twists. Ads are in progress, guys. I'll be right back. No, I think we're going to go with Galaxy, unless Defiant is... Actually, Defiant's not too bad. Let's stick with the Galaxy, though. That looks good to me. Okay. Oh, you caught up. Two of you did. Where's Lydia? Lydia, oh, there you are. Okay. Come on, Lydia. I haven't given you that much to carry. That's a lie. Yes, I have. 
I'm so sorry. Oh, whoa! Well, that happened. Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less scroll. <laughs> what is? Studious what is? Studious what is sent Erend and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey! <laughs> Fight with me. Nice. Oh, damn it. Oh, crap. Ah. I shouldn't have said anything. Ah. Oh, God. Oh, why? Chat, why? Gotcha. Ten, nine, eight. Here it comes. It's coming from the building. Change course. Set thrusters to full. It's just fireworks, right? Okay, sorry about that, guys. I'm back. That came up on me a little faster than I expected. Okay, come on, game. There we go. It seems to recover well, but it doesn't love being, uh, you know, alt-tabbed out of. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Aaron Lore. Missing goods. Okay, so we need. You know what? Let's... I'm gonna move this as well. And I believe they need a warehouse. Pump that there. Enjoy your lurk preserve. How about a cup of coffee? You've been playing for two hours. See, I like this game. That's a very good idea. More games need to recommend a cup of coffee when you've been playing for two hours. Also, tell me this game is not designed for children without telling me this game is not designed for children. Oh, I already had a blueprint. Uh, we don't need the second blueprint. That can go away. Okay, so uh, we've got eight timber. Timber. 
So I'm just immediately... I'm going to set... When this rises above 100, we can sell timber. Oh, it doesn't like 100. If, when it rises above 75, we can sell timber. I got me family. Okay, we've still got room for these two. No, actually, maybe we don't. I think they may be locked. What does it cost to build new ones? Two planks? I'm gonna wait till we get the warehouse done. Once the warehouse is done, I'm gonna start adding more housing. There we go. More plank production. But we need it to be in storage. It's not good for the plank just to have been produced. It needs to be counted. The music in this game is really beautiful, too. I really like it. Oh, there we go. Another one. There we go. Ten. Which means we can build the warehouse. I and we should be good. I always appreciate your help, however overdue. Wow. Storage is shared throughout all warehouses. Once a good is delivered to a warehouse, it becomes accessible to the whole island. All right, so we've got that going. So we're going to set up some more housing first. And I'm going to get more of these done, like probably come up here and do some more forestry things. Also, actually, I just remembered, since this is new and we do have people, you need more people before you can demolish these ruins. That's okay. That fits well with our plan to create more housing. Select a residence and observe how farmers slowly move in because you fulfilled their need for a market. Okay, we can't do fish yet, but we've got the market. I'm going to assume it's probably 50 or maybe 75 people before we can do the thing. Um, yeah, I tracked 50 farmers. New, oh, fishery, okay. 
Father so wouldn't have wanted us to sit on our hands while our one prospect was in such a state. So let's gather our townsfolk and ask them to spruce the place up. Ruined residence district. Okay, so let's get rid of this. That will give me more planks, which means I'll be able to expand more rapidly. Morning is eased. Now we have others for company, sibling. It's been a hard day of labor for us all. We should cater to our tired, hungry people. All production buildings need to be connected either to a warehouse or the next building in their production chain. Make sure they're close enough. Okay. Now, I do want to do more clearing here. Every fish they catch needs to be delivered to a warehouse or a trading post. Be sure to lay a road between them. Way ahead of you, sis. Your city has grown more beautiful. Okay, you need more people before you can demolish these ruins. It's a different type. It's a desolated church. So, yeah... Uh, that no okay we still need more people that's okay we've cleared enough right now that we can cancel this let's get more forestry up here I need my road first I don't know if that warehouse is close enough, so I'm going to preemptively just build another one. Right over here. What do you mean there's... There's a... Oh, I think it needs a road. No wonder, that's what she was telling me, okay. fish. I just connected the road so we haven't really had much chance for production to begin. Okay. 
Okay, now we're look working towards a target of a hundred farmers. But before that, I am gonna build another fishery. Milestone. New city status, village. You can now move multiple objects at once. Use the move tool and drag a rectangle around the objects you want to move. Objects that are moved to an invalid location will be destroyed. Help enough to demolish the larger ruins. Let's breathe some life into this place. All right. Your people require new clothes. Ornaments can now be found in their very own menu. Browse it by clicking here. It's been a long, hard day. The people need to rest and maybe wet their whistle. Need more people before you can demolish those ruins, but we can get those ones. Okay, we need clothing. We're gonna come out here and we'll do some farming. So we'll set this up here. The framework knitters will weave the wool into work clothes. Sounds promising. faces I see trouble make sure their misery doesn't become a problem schnapps makes your people happy and will give their income your income a nice boost okay so we're definitely gonna do <laughs> several I'm in farms. danger thank you Callan Ray what's the danger not the people what brings you here master The land can only be farmed if there are enough fields. We must plant them. Thank you, sis. We need more people. Thank you, Mad. There we go. Get them drunk. Always a solid plan in every game that this can happen in. Yes. Keep them pleased. Keep them pliant. Exactly. Exactly. The Schnapps Distillery will process potatoes into Schnapps. We need another potato farm, though.
Exactly, Kellen, right? Okay, looks like we still need more people. So we'll have to put in a bit more housing. Wiki has arrived at the library seeking law. If you don't know where you are going, any road will get you there. Lewis Carroll. Thank you so much for the follow, I appreciate that. Unhappy population. What's going on? Why are they all happy? Through. Your people dislike pollution. I didn't think we would have any pollution. It's a bit early for pollution. No luxury. We need a firehouse. Oh, we might need the pub as well. Just like old times. Our hunt thanks you for your help. Excellent. Toast to the future, sustain across the region. 70% of schnapps supply for one minute. Feels an eternity since the funeral. And the cost! Oh, why, it was extortionate. Repay me now, or sell up. All oh, right, he wants four schnapps. I feel sick to the stomach that Edvard could ask so much of us so soon after father's death. Okay, so what have we got in the way of potato? I need to track that so that I can get an idea of what our potential schnapps output is like. Your people are recovered and desirous to proceed. Set them to it. We're going to need as much space as we can clear. this yes we can excellent okay I think we might need more tato fields I'm gonna build one more around here Speak to our humble cousin. He writes of a worker riot in Bright Sands. Seems we are not alone in our contempt for Edvard. Okay, let's see. Find your cousin leading a mob in the vicinity of Edvard's great exhibition construction site. Before I do that, I am also going to set up one more lumberjack hut. And another lumber yard. And we'll do one more sheep farm as well.
ready to repay my charity? Don't think you're finished, brat. Okay. I loathe the reek of lanolin, but if farmer's smocks are all you have, tell me you've managed something. There you go, Baba, sir. Baba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Four bags full. Is what? there no limit to Uncle's shameless demands? Nope, there is not. Oh, what is all this? Where's our ship? Do we have a ship? Do we not have a ship? Oh, right. We don't have a ship because we have to go talk to our cousin. Okay, this is where we go on a hunt for... No, stop it. We go on a hunt for mobs. So how's everyone doing today? I hope you're having a good one. My weekend was pretty good. I had all the birthday stuff going on, then I spent some time relaxing yesterday, as well as setting up for the charity things today. Come on, angry mobs, where are you? There was one. We'd rather die than stay. Our flags still wave for Samuel. Let Edvard oppress us no more. Going all right, fairly relaxed workday so far. Excellent. No vodka, only schnapps. Weekend was a bit busy, but otherwise just... Yeah, not my birthday. My birthday is next year. But um, my dad and my brother both had their birthday this weekend. My brother's out of province, but we celebrated with dad. I made lasagna. It was good. No, not my birthday, Ben. Not my birthday. My dad's birthday. That's three. That's four. I know, but I'm a troll. Fair. That's fair. There the we life go. away from Edvard. We're on board. Only we've no ship to get on board of. Oh. I thought you were going to take care of that. If you pick me, you may have my boat. Ah. It's my poor aunt's legacy. Her second husband was a decent sailor. Select the editor and his crew at Edvard's Harbor. Really, entirely marvelous to meet you. And that we may show truth or, or anything, actually, in my... Uh, our broadsheet. Everybody on board? Good. I, I, I shiver at the thought of staying here another second. Let's make way then. What? Has your cleft of the family no shame that it now resorts to abducting my workers? The Queen's ambassador himself shall hear of this. Abduction is a severe accusation. And if I may, uh, excuse me, a false one. We left Edvard quite willingly. Pencil polishing, Popinjay. I should have been rid of you long ago. I see nothing criminal. A bit of interfamilial bickering is only natural, <laughs> and hardly a matter for the crown. And as for you, 
I have quite forgotten my manners. Sir Archibald Blake, ambassador and confidant to the Queen. Despite the circumstances, Her Majesty and I were pleased to hear of your return. Your father's death was a tragedy. We regret he never had the chance of a fair trial. The real tragedy here is the vast funeral bill that goes unpaid, while this brat is living the life of O'Reilly. Sadly, your uncle has indeed alerted me to some uh, floating liabilities. I fear you have no choice but to settle them if I am to grant you your crown shipping license. Edvard registered the debt officially. Don't worry. That old tyrant can't hold us back anymore. Indeed. Once my letterpress is up and running, the truth will come back to haunt Edvard. Uh, for your hospitality, please use my ship howsoever you may wish. Excellent. Now that sounds like good news. All right. We have our ship. As to the debt, my hands are tied, but it may warm Her Majesty's heart to see a new enterprise taking shape. Enterprise, eh? Squirt flagship, Maybe wow. Maybe Edvard will try to prevent us owning a shipyard, but for now, let's at least house those workers. Okay. So we got that stuff. Um... Let's go explore just a little bit. We have this island back here. Wouldn't mind learning about it in advance. We can't do much with it because we have to construct a thing that requires steel to do. Uh, what is this? I got something perplexing. Need setting straight. Made livestock. Hubs made fun of me when I told them they were up to summit. They all ran away. Our living depends on them. Find them, please. Please. Couldn't muck me out, could you? The farmer's animals have escaped, and she seems to believe they somehow planned it. Find them around town. They are all they have. Look for the farm animals running around the streets of your city, probably near the farmer's residences. Find and collect the farm animals for a questionable reward. As a three leg goat, you're tying the dog. Never. <laughs> a new island has been discovered. Okay, what have we got going on? We've got lots of potatoes, which means I can probably set up another schnapps factory, which means I can probably start selling schnapps and profiting handsomely from it. Which means we need to go here. than 20 we will sell time for a raise upgrade to worker residence I'll do a few more residences here Oh, I can't do that one. We'll wait for those to go up. I'm going to continue improving our lot in life here. Tempted to do another potato farm. Although, with the way I've got this arranged, how would I get the road connected to it?
You got no shortage of timber. Fish looks good. Worker clothes look good. Schnapps are starting to increase pretty handily. What's going on here? Missing goods. We need something first. That's okay. Looks like we're coming along with that. Now, is there anything more we need clearing? Abandoned Town Hall. These ruins are more stubborn. Your farmers have neither the tools nor the skills required to demolish them. Okay. But that one looks fine. Oh, uh, okay. I think we can only store a maximum of 75 timber, which means that we're never going to sell it at these settings. So let's go above 50. No, not, not 5, 50. There. Okay, now, um, oh, fulfilled the trade in, okay, excellent, oh, good, so that, that's going to keep the timber working, we sold 25 timber. Now, where's the Enterprise? Oh, we did find another island. Okay, uh, how's this looking now? Eight of 13. Schnapps are getting up there, 13 schnapps. Ugh, I really am tempted to put in some more potato fields. Oh, what's this? Abandoned sawmill. storage for it. I'll have to wait until the next sale is fulfilled. Thank you guys for all showing up. I know this is an off day. It's not one of the ones I normally stream, so I appreciate everybody being here and making such amazing progress. Oh my god, what the... And Stara... I really need to get alerts set up. Thank you so much. What the heck, Unstar? We're halfway towards our new goal already. 
When did you do that? That's amazing. Thank you, thank you. I will make a point of getting the alerts set up tonight. That's really phenomenal. I appreciate that so much. Oh. I can get some of this stuff now. There we go. Potato farming. I guess I can do a bit over here. Nice day for it. it sure is. We need more farmers, so we need more housing. Transporters loading delayed. Oh no. I don't think I've ever had that problem before. I could put in a new warehouse. Now, can we upgrade these actually? Realization. Too many transporters even for that one. Workers can handle stubborn debris on ditch water. If it's to be the center of our new enterprise, it needs to be immaculate. Honest work, that's all we ask. Our dream of a shipyard is impossible without plenty of qualified hands. Okay. Clear abandoned smeltery. These are good times. Could they be even better? Hey, Gov, I've got this drill from me late uncle just laying around the house. Thought you might find some use for it. Go ahead, take it. I'm only a cog. It's you what pulls the levers. A little love is all we ever wanted. I have discovered some inefficiencies we ought to address. Have you now? 
You can equip items in the trade union that will affect production, every production building in its range in very interesting ways. Build a trade, un trade union close to your clay pit to try out the item you just received. I am going to need a trade pit for that. Which means we're going to need a road to that area of the island. So let's get that built right now. Elizabeth, I'm not set up for this. Let's get a road there. Stop it. Oh my God. We will get a trade union built right here across the street, as well as... Oh. Stop it. A warehouse. We have the clay pit. We need this. Would you? Oh my god. Stop that. We'll get that there. It's a surprise inspection. Okay. We are going to need more workers. So let's upgrade With a couple several more houses. With passionate young reporters enlisted, our publishing house is already well underway. The editor starts to work on your newspaper. Okay, now we have shortages of farmer residences as well, so I need new places for people to live. So let's do another neighborhood right here. Okay, and we're going to need worker workforce as well. Trade unions allow you to equip unique machine specialists and other items that will have various beneficial effects on every production building in their vicinity. Equip an item at a trade union. You restore a grain of my trust in humanity, eldest. So we need to attract 150 workers.
You know, we're gonna need sausage uh, for the workers. So let me see. Oh, my chat disconnected. It's back now, but that's weird. I apologize if anybody said anything. I don't know when it disconnected, but it just came back now. Let's get a pig farm. Probably need at least two of those. That'll do. I think I'm okay on oxygen, Ben, but thank you. We earned this. Sir Archibald Blake fulfilled the trade in ditch water. out here what's this desolated blowing house the tin drew them here there was no other reason to come Okay. Three minute warning, guys. We have ads in three minutes. Ah, I should be able to build this now. No, I can't. Never mind. I need more workers and... Oop. Ah, stop that. Okay. Section is sure to grow along with your city. 
We are fine-tuning the first issue as we speak. Do we not? Uh oh, yeah, we've still got. Okay, we need we need more people of both farming and working type. Now, how are these doing? They're okay. Yeah, I guess the market's still pretty close, and the tavern's right here, so we're all right for that. Let's get a harbor. Can we not? No, we can't. Alright guys, it looks like it's about time to take that break. Um, this is going to be a slightly longer break. I need to go and make myself some tea for the afternoon. So if you need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, I'll be back in about maybe six to eight minutes or so. So I'll be back in just a few minutes and uh, I'll meet you back here after the ads are done. Imagine, if you will, taking a bath in sulfuric acid and using pumice for a washcloth. After that bit of displeasure passes, it gets much worse as the acid slowly eats its way to the last critical organs. Finally, mercifully, death takes you. Looking for suspect male. Was last seen on dock 27. Hostile approaching. Copy that. Oh my god, the oh, crap, this is so good. Ow! <laughs> Damn it! Oh no. Nice. Bites the dust. That works. Should be a vent in that. Oh. I hope that was a cat that I tossed off the mountain. Whoa. That was a hell of a rag doll. Ah. <laughs> uh. Wow. <laughs> Maybe we'll come back for this battle. <laughs> the disc. No, watch the... No, watch... No. That's good. Oh, 
Okay. Clearly there were some areas they had... <laughs> Clearly there were some areas they have not invested a lot of work in improving. <laughs> What the hell? Did he shoot my fireball? Starfield's gonna come out, and every other game in existence is going to stop. Big. Clearly, I need to rethink my addition of anti-gravity mods. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh. <laughs> uh. oh god. Oh. That was not the best idea. It's the agreed upon amount. I expect you to faithfully carry out my request to teach a lesson to the thief Una. You need not kill her, but I have no qualms about it if you deem it necessary. Holda! Holda! I feel so betrayed. That was my cheese, Holda. hell? What is wrong with this blasted thing? A blank? There better be a second round in here. Otherwise, it'll be plan B for you, I'm afraid. Ah, that's got it. Here we go. <laughs> ah, golden duck. Cracking job. This has been a very quiet level so far. It makes me very suspicious. Well. I haven't had Prime Rambit in a while. I think I should see if I can possibly make that happen at some point. Student, what's Nothing. the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgraf is not receiving visitors. I have news from Helgen. Oh my god. Thank you, Greeny. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. <laughs> that was not the Jarl's cheese. Stop right there. What? Art <laughs> that was unexpected. Artillery providing cover?
thousand year flood. The river bursts its banks and rising water covers the land for miles around. Not for a thousand years has the river flooded to such an extent. That's not what I was expecting. Way to go, Ace. You blundered your way to within range of the pirate's jello gun. You suffocate in an impenetrable block of jello. No explosion. What's up? Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, that, uh... That might require a little adjustment. <laughs> oh. You didn't see me do that? I didn't do that? You can't prove a thing. Achievement unlocked, Legendary Warrior. What are you doing up there? Oh, you're trying to... Let's see what happens when he tries to light it. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing! <laughs> I didn't know that was what they trapped it with. <laughs> what? What is that? Oh my god. Oh crap. Gotcha. First try. You fought well, but we're finished. What's the point of putting stuff around if I can't blow it up? See, that's much better. That stuff serves a useful purpose. Ooh, okay. Not today. Was it worth it? Oh my god, it's GLaDOS. On a scale of one to six? Nah, I'd say I'm setting it up. Strong six. I guess we both know what's going to happen next. Delamine misses you. 
Here to shut you down. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Oh my god, it is GLaDOS. Really appreciate it if you didn't make this difficult. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise, so I'll just give you a hint. What the fuck? I'm going to kill you, and all the cake is gone. <laughs> oh my god! Moira's mo- ah. What? <laughs> wow. These guys have been doing strength training with the, uh, compies, I see. Did you freaking die already? Oh, you're the alpha. Okay. What? Wow. The droid engages its patrol mode and moves off to carry out your programmed instructions. Okay, sorry about that, folks. I am back. It took slightly longer than expected. Enjoy your lurk, Aaron Lar. Game is a bit slow. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's catching up now. There's a shortage of worker workforce. Okay, we're working on that. Pun fully intended. It's real good, Ultra. It's really good. How are you doing? It's so wonderful to see you. Hang on a second here. I'm doing really good, Ultra. I kind of haphazardly started my charity fundraising for Extra Life this year. Uh, I don't have alerts. They're not working yet. I didn't have an overlay when I started stream, and yet somehow we've already beaten the initial goal, and we're halfway towards the second goal. <laughs> so, I'm very happy about today. Plus, of course, I, I'm actually becoming quite addicted to this game. This is really super fun. You missed it when stream elements misbehaved? What do you mean? What happened? Insufficient work help. Okay. Um, oh, let's go with these ones first. Here. And here. And here. There we go. Oh, when the shoutouts only shouted out Greeny, that's hilarious. So how did the rest of your city stream go last night? I love watching you play that game, Ultra. You have such a different play style than I do. Okay, I need to figure out more about this stuff here. The selling of things. Maybe I need some more distilleries. Let's take a look. What do we got settings for here? 
sell if we're over 10 in stock. Just want to see how that goes. You reached a new milestone. Port Town. Okay, what's going on? Oh, we can do the thing now. I have to hold my mouse over a transit node for five you seconds before I can calculate fortitude. the route now. These people will follow you as they once followed him. Hena is pleased that you have enough people to build a shipyard. New buildings have been unlocked. Excellent. Uh, speaking of ships, Your where is mine? Your rags have barely covered anything. Now, bring me sails. It's not like you have any use for them. Wow, Edward. Okay. Clearly, Uncle's intention is to keep us from ever owning a shipyard. It went well, but man, the simulation is slow now. Yeah, I don't tend to go for the goal of building the biggest uh, city that I can, so hopefully I won't Howdy run into that you. particular issue. Property of Edward Good. A competitor raised a settlement. Oh, rude. Okay, I, I still need my ship. Where's my ship? You're out here. Okay, so we did find another island. That's good. Um, where are we? We are back this way. Let's get him back here. You don't need to produce everything. You can also buy goods from other traders. Select the good you'd like to purchase in your trading post and set up the trading options for it. Visiting trading ships will automatically sell it to you. Yeah, so in terms of gameplay, this isn't... The game that I can think of that I know you're familiar with that I can closest describe it as being similar to would be Banished. But it's Banished with so much more to it, and it doesn't feel quite so much like you're balanced on the edge of a knife all the time as you are in Banished. It's an interesting game and a really, really interesting kind of experience to play without people just dying constantly so far so far i think that's accurate okay um sales okay we've already got sh uh, lots of sheep farms so let's set up a sail maker oh i need a lot of space for the sail maker sail maker will have to go here What do we need for that? We need 75 bucks. We need 50 workers. We... Oh, that's maintenance costs. Okay. Uh, construction costs. We need 500 bucks. We need 8 planks and we need 10 bricks. So we can't construct that just yet. We need our guys to get going on the brick making. Stand to attention for the bus. You hated the quarries? <laughs> I haven't played Banished in a very long time. I wasn't even a streamer yet the last time I played it. I was certain that I had actually streamed it at one point, so I checked my Steam stats to find out roughly when it would have been, only to discover that my last played time like, the last time I played the game was sometime in mid-2013. So it's been more than 10 years at this point. I played it somewhat recently in the past two years, trying to get some of the harder achievements. Oh, man. I think it's, yeah, it's 10 bricks that I need, so we're going to have to wait a little on that. In the meantime, oh, we have more ruins. Abandoned pit. Just a sad, dark hole remains from whence the tin ants one craw once crawled. Okay, 
That was kind of a waste. I can't store any more timber. Get another clay pit set up. And that there. They're going to need another warehouse. Hopefully, that's fine. shortage of workers again so let's see uh, one of the key concepts that it actually took me until earlier today to realize these wooden houses here they're upgradable and that gives them a higher population cap but it also changes the occupants from farmers to workers and that affects the balance that you've got going on in your city like right now I've got a surplus of farmers but a, uh, a surfit of workers, so I need more workers, so we need to upgrade some more of these houses. I had kind of thought it was more the traditional city builder thing where if you upgrade the houses, it just makes them more comfortable and happier, and that's not actually the case in this game. In fact, it makes them harder to keep happy because when they live in higher tier houses like that, not only does it change them to a different type of worker, but it also means that suddenly they've got extra requirements to be happy. Uh, not even, Ultra. I When I started stream today, I kept going with the save that I had previously, but that was my first stab at trying to learn the game and I very quickly ran out of money and died. So I've been setting this save up to be a little more economically feasible and it looks like I'm already showing a positive so it looks like it might be working. I had just been kind of going through like you know um, it taught me that I needed to do where's my farmer tier? I'll get back to what she was saying in a moment. I needed l timber to make stuff. I needed fish. I needed schnapps. I needed workers' clothes and all that kind of stuff. So I just did the bare minimum to progress and keep learning more. But that meant that I wasn't producing enough to actually produce any kind of a profit. And so I ran through my initial money very quickly and died. Or not really died, but you know what I mean. Let's grab this stuff. Yep, so I had to restart, but that's okay. It was a really good learning experience, and now I've been able to set myself up for a lot better success, at least in the short term. I'm sure I'm going to, you know, make it a certain degree and learn a bit of new stuff and then discover that, oh, crap, I'm actually falling behind in some other area that I don't yet know about, and it'll start all over again. But, you know, that's just how it goes. Sales. Sail maker. There we go. Now I have to worry less about bricks. Let's track sales production instead. Actually, how are we doing? Oh, we've got tons of wool. Okay. So sail making will be fine. Once that's up and running, it's going to be great. What do we have here? Missing goods. That's all right. 
They can get goods they need, they can get the wool they need from any warehouse. It makes a point of telling you, once you construct one warehouse and goods start to be stored there, the inventory is shared with all warehouses on the island. So I've got a small warehouse here. It's got the same as the small warehouse that I just built over here. They can pull from it just as if it were local. So that's one thing that's pretty nice. So we just have to wait for the uh, gears of industry to kind of wake up and start moving here. Oh, and I do have a, a few uh, openings for workers. Spot. So now I've got a pretty good balance going. I've got five extra farmers and seven extra workers after upgrading this house over here. I should be able to upgrade a few roads. I'm going to start beautifying the city just a little bit. I'm not certain, but I I have this feeling that the paved roads let them move a little bit faster. I haven't seen anything to... Oh, yeah, faster transportation of goods. Okay. So we're going to have to work on paving the streets more. So I'll have to prioritize the streets that are used to get to and from the warehouses, I think. And the, uh, the trade port as well. I already got that one. One thing that should be nice is that there's a beautification menu here, and I did get a little bit of the DLC. Where is it? Sunken Treasure, Botanica, and The Passage. Those are DLC. And then, oh, cosmetic, here we go. I got the cosmetic pack, the first one. So there's a lot of Christmas stuff. So we can put in things like a big Christmas tree, which will be really nice when we get into the holiday season. Now, I'm starting to notice that I don't think I've ever seen it go to night. I wonder if there is a day-night cycle. Because you see all these screenshots of people's cities with, you know, all the gorgeous lights and all that, and I don't know what's going on with that. I don't see any option for it. Maybe I'm just missing it. I don't know. This is kind of a nice problem to have. Full output storage. This is one of my potato farms. They use the potatoes to make schnapps. Uh, yes, you can have sales. Nothing you do will lift the cloud. That's our uncle. He's been nothing but a pain in the butt since dad died. In-game dad, that is. Haven't seen a prison transport of mine, have you? If you do, uh, be sure to return any salvage to me. If I do, you'll be the last to hear about it, sir. Use a ship to rescue group of castaways, zero of one, from the prison transport wreck. Use a ship to rescue sealed document one from the prison transport wreck. Okay, so we need Enterprise here. Get over here. Here 
here she comes. I should get that first, because it's on your way. Saved! Do you also then save us from a grievous injustice? Ideally. charges against us are pure fabrication. The man is an imposter. Wait for Edward. It oh. bears Edvard's seal. Don't even think about sheltering Samuel's co-conspirators. Deliver them to prison at once, and I might lift your debt. Okay, so... He's clearly up to no good. However much we despise Uncle Edvard, it's criminal to go opening his private correspondence. Desperate times call for desperate deeds, sister. No, don't throw the letter overboard. <laughs> Dear Governor Bleakworth, more of the Traitor Samuel's conspirators' crimes and sentences as follows. Ernest Sterling, use of foul language, 16 years hard labor. Verity Goodhart, impersonation, transportation to the Antipodes. Elias Noble, writing a threatening letter, life imprisonment. Honora Descent, character assassination, life imprisonment. The judge saw very well my view that any lack of proof that they conspired with the traitor was in itself evidence that they're hiding something. All things considered, his verdict could have been far worse. While I am under no obligation to explain such details, I thought that as a fellow dispenser of justice, the facts of the case may be of interest to you. Sincerely, Edward Good. It cannot be. These names are those father trusted most. Barristers, doctors, academics. Even I am astonished he could be this corrupt. We must put their cases before the highest authority and hope for a retrial. He certainly knows how to silence his critics. Okay. Bring Edward's political prisoners to Eli Bleakworth, or bring Edward's political prisoners to Sir Archibald Blake. We are going to go with the Blake option. Where is Mr. Blake? Uh, let's see. That's none of your business. We don't want that one. Eden Burning. Construct a hydroelectric dam without destroying the fragile ecosystems? What? Holy crap. Our uncle is rapidly graduating from mere jerk to full-blown villain? Yes. Yes, he is. Okay, I'm not sure where we're supposed to take this guy. Uh, here. We're going here. Wait, that's... Here. That's better. I sent it to my own city. Now I think, yeah, we're just popping over from here. So he's pretty close by. For the day night cycle, I think it's the thing next to the pause button. There's a pause button? Oh, well, what so is it is. you are bringing? Did he really? Oh dear. Uh, best leave these poor people with me. I will tell Edvard that the debt between you is quite settled. Excellent. That was none of your business. And what right has the Crown to meddle in my accounts? What right? Poor guy. We are, all of us, quite moved by your selfless actions. Your father would be proud. 
I am so relieved our legitimacy is no longer in question. Okay. Workforce shortage. Farmer workforce in Ditchwater. Okay, we need more farmers. Hurry! I already smell the tar. See the masts are swaying from Father's study. Workforce shortage. Spit a few more buildings in there. We might have to renovate the area at some point. It looked like I had left so much space when I built those farms. We may need to relocate them. They're now getting a little bit close to the center of town here. Ooh, we have shortages across the spectrum here. That's fun. There we go. That's what I wanted. It's nifty that you can set it to whatever time you want, but I want it to actually cycle. So that's good. I'm glad you can do that. All right, looks like we still need a few more, so let's get... Oh, uh, do they want us to build a shipyard? I guess they do, huh? Key beautifies your harbor area. We will... Oh, okay, okay. How do we do this? Oh my god, look at that. That's... Wow. Oh, that's cool. Actually, let's put some more key in. Just a narrower section of it, I think. Get some rest. It's going to be a long voyage. Love that. That looks so good. Harbor Master's office. That's my depot. What was that? I don't think I wanted that. Oh, that is the key. Okay. No, that's... Why does it keep doing roads? Guns requires free harbor area. Oh, 
Oh, that's so cool. I love it. Okay, we're falling behind on worker workforce again. Let's upgrade a few more. Oh, I can't upgrade that one. Interesting. Oh, I don't have enough work clothes. Okay. Um, I think we're using up all the wool to make sails. We don't need that many sails yet. What brings you here, Master? Uh, where did I? There we go. It's a surprise inspection. If it's a lock. I think I might also need to stop. I need to stop selling the work clothes for a bit. So let's not trade those. What else do we have that we could trade? We can sell some sails, though. Not many. We do have to build ships eventually. So once we get above 20, we can make those. So we'll just sell a few of them, get a little bit of money. Man, we have a lot of potatoes stockpiled. I should probably be making more schnapps. Oh, look at that. It's getting towards dusk. Oh, that's so cool. You're tying the knot. Never. <laughs> okay. We're starting to get some more brick. So I'm going to upgrade a few more roads. What's this? Fire station. That's also probably a good road to upgrade. Let's come right down there. Oh, I offset the road a little. Oh well, that's okay. I'll have to upgrade down here too, because there's a lot of wagon traffic going around there. Build one sailing shipyard. Oh, right. I have the blueprint. I need the actual thing. Which means I probably should not have spent all those bricks on roads. Because now we've got to wait for 25 bricks to come in. No worries, Aaron Lord. No worries.
Average happiness of the people living on this island, calculated based on total population per island, impact increases when a population tier has higher numbers. Happy residents can start festivals in the city. Let's take a look at some of our worker houses here. Do we have a, an actual it's need for bread yet? Bone, Not yet. Oh, yes we do. Okay. That means I need to... Uh, let's see. Probably extend this road here. Okay, the bread production chain begins with a grain farm, so let's do this. Then we'll get our field down here. Oh, that's a huge field, holy crap. Got that, and yeah, okay, that's already put us at a little bit of a deficit for farmers, but that's okay. There's space for it. No, there isn't. Never mind. I thought there was space for a farmer right there. Let's just do a little neighborhood right here. flour mill which can go right in there and I think there's a warehouse here so that's probably not too bad but then we also need a bakery and that's not gonna fit in there your farmers would like some flour to improve their recipes. As your city grows, your residents will develop lifestyle needs. These are entirely optional, but fulfilling them unlocks unique bonuses. Select a residence to find out more. I doff my cap to you. Yeah, they still don't have enough work clothes. Okay. Put this over here, and then I'm probably going to need a closer, uh, not farmer residence, a small warehouse. We'll pop that right there. Actually, you know what? I'm going to relocate this. Put that there. So I think I'm going to put another grain farm right down here. Just drop a road down there. Oh my god, we actually need more schnapps. Okay, that means we might be selling too much. So let's go in here. And we're going to raise that to 30, I think. So we keep 30, and we only sell when it gets to above 30.
bakery going. And that means, yeah, we're starting to get to the point where we need more workers again, so let's go. Oh, shoot, I can't upgrade these guys. Uh-oh, what's going on? Oh no, fire! I'm so glad I upgraded the road to the firehouse. Inferno fast. What do you think we're working on? Oh Jesus, it spreads so quickly. These are not exactly the modern Sim City style firefighters, are they? Next house. Move it, guys. Move it. Fire is spreading. have enough manufacturer raised a settlement I think I need another one of these actually let's put one of them in there of course, we've got a bit of a labor shortage going on That's all the fire taken care of. And we didn't lose any actual buildings. Hopefully once the, uh, you know, the houses are back up and running again, population will recover a little bit. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Oh, no, looks like we're all right. Might have to think about eventually getting another firehouse. Three minute warning, guys. We have ads beginning in three minutes. I'm going to take another break at that point. Population is starting to recover, and we're good. We're, we're good now. There. 
Uh, that's an island we had not discovered yet, so we're okay. Oh, that's way down there. Speaking of, though, Enterprise, where are you? Oh, wow. Enterprise, where are you? Oh, I left it over here. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's see. I need undiscovered islands. That's this way. Let's go down this... This way. Just make your way out there. That's fine. I find the camera controls for the ship stuff a little bit inconvenient at times. Yeah, the music is really great. This is a fantastically put together game. I have such a good time with it. Alright, what are we looking at now? Oh, we're starting to get bread. Good. We're starting to get work clothes. And our collection of bricks is getting better. The Emporium Exotic looks forward to your patronage. If you can afford it. Madame Kahina introduces herself. Oh, that's got to be somebody we just met with the Enterprise. Madame Kahina knows every route going for exotic goods and items. You can find almost anything you can imagine at her shops for a reasonable price. That is very cool. I've never met her before. But uh, we will have to continue exploring in just a few minutes. I need to take a quick break. This will just be a normal break, so if you guys need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, I'll be back in about three and a half to five. Um, this looks very not good. I suppose I can steal a car. Oh, that! Ah. Oh my! I like that. <laughs> oh my god. They have my tartan. That's amazing. Hey, Mad. Interesting that they chose this particular tartan of the Clan McLeod. Uh, yeah, back off. You really don't want to be standing there. Nadine. I'm giving you the count of five. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Thank you. double-bladed glow stick. Really? I think you got that. Okay. We have relatively limited storage. And, um, we have 394 branches. That kind of sounds like a lot of branches. It had not occurred to me that branches are going to be the bulk of our firewood over the winter. They look at you expectantly. 
Note that if Tatcha is looking for romance, she should look no further than her partner. It must be clear to everyone that Eden here is deeply in love with her. Tatcha bursts out laughing. Eden goes bright red. Get lost before I throw you in a cell for disrespecting a magic. Oh my god. Holy crap, guys. The 30th anniversary edition. Oh my god. I used to play this game, the this edition of the game. I still have my book back there. Look at this. Can you... This is unbelievable. Oh. Yeah, I guess that should have been fairly obvious that I needed to wait until he was actually there. God damn it. Hey, who just left this here like My name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> okay, I am back. I need to play more Hitman one of these days. That was really fun. There we go. Thank you, Aranar. Thank you, Ansara. New island has been discovered. Okay, um, let's see. Oh, we have things happening. What's going on? I'm happy as a sandboy. Will you build us another castle? How am I supposed to brag about Punch Club if I can't talk about Punch Club? <laughs> what? Willy Wibblesock founded his company very recently and quite out of the blue. Nothing is lost by talking to him. Uh, I... Okay, here we go. Oh, I know. The rules didn't say anything about taking pictures. Meet us at the marketplace. Nouveau's arrivees like wise on Wibbly, eh? Stick by me and you'll come good. Take a photo. Four in a row. Time to stretch your legs. Uh. It won't let me take the photo. But also, this is a pretty cool photo mode. How? What? Here, let's take a look at the options. How do I get back to photo mode? Screenshot is print screen, but where's actual photo mode? Enter the old world. Enter Cape Trelawney, Enabesa, the Arctic. Donate to science? What? This game is enormous. Haven't you ever wanted help, Gov? I'm pressing the mouse button it wants me to press, or at least 
the one it's telling me to press. It's not letting me take a photo, though. Unless... Come on. It looked like it took a photo there for a moment. Up with a lark this morning, I was. Hang on a second here. It's time to Google. <clears throat> First rule of punch club. I have to take a photo of the men fighting, but how can I take the photo? When I enter the quest log, it says go to the quest tracker, and from there you can take the photo, but I can't find it. I know it's a for dummies question. I've tried to Google around with no result. If you click on the quest in the log on the left side of the screen, it should take you to the general area and then snap the photo. I'm pretty certain that's precisely what I've been doing to no result, but let's try it again. Maybe I'm missing something subtle. Maybe I click here first. Come on. Uh, oh, that was not the area. That's so cheaty. It did say something about the market, though. Come on, speed up. Yeah, it really... The game does... It does take a little bit to recover from... Alt-tabbing out. Oh, there we go. Now it's got the right... Okay. There we go. Bad for a big boss. Okay, that's not so bad. To meet our patron is utterly humbling. If there is anything I can do, anything really, imagine it, and we can do it. I thought we weren't supposed to talk about this. I love it. Okay. That's funny. Photo has been taken. One more brick and we can build the shipyard. Twenty five, there we go. Our city's historic first shipyard. We must document this moment in our first edition. Uh, okay, a another photo. raised a settlement. The perfect snapshot to illustrate history in the making. Goods heirs create breakaway shipping company in the image of their father, who they say was a man of principle. After all, there is no surefire evidence he did anything wrong at all. Chapter 2 A Sign of Fire. So you build ships like your father. Well, the Queen is in the direst need of ships. Supporting her will go some way to healing the wounds of the past. By the way, Anstara, since you're here, or at least you were a, a minute or two for the ago... royal fleet! And in such quantity! A rare honor indeed! Thank you so much for the donation earlier. The I weaponry they really ask need for presents alerts. a problem. I'm not even sure we have an iron load, do we? We have two, actually, at least. Maybe more. But we have some work to do to get there. Okay, we have a few more bricks. I'm gonna upgrade some more roads. But not many more, it seems. Select iron deposit. So that's going to be up beyond this blockage here. I see the iron is beyond our reach. We have no choice but to find a way through the mountain. I suggest dynamite. 
still have a few sticks of dynamite. We can blow our way through. Sell to Archibald Blake. One schooner, two gunboats, and one frigate. I might be able to sell the schooner pretty soon. Can we do the schooner? What do we need? Looks like we've got everything we need for that, so let's get one of those built. Yeah, that was incredibly generous on Star. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I swear I will have alerts set up for all this tomorrow. Still losing money, although not nearly as quickly. Um, I wonder what more I can do. What is wrong? Too many transporters, loading delayed. I guess upgrading the road here isn't really going to help, but that is it. What are you both doing? Demolition is a serious matter, wanting proper expertise. Hannah is furious at our hunt and you Father for planning. Father used Mr. Ticker on account of his good sense. Go on. I suggest you find him in Bright Sands. Hannah insists you find your father's demolitions expert in Bright Sands. Search for demolition experts' explosives shop. Okay. Something for all seasons. After the picket protests, many fine men left Bright Sands to join you. Then Edvard struck back. He imprisoned all who were close to your father, including my beloved Thomas. My husband and the others were deported to Wormway's prison, and I've heard nothing from him ever since. If you do find him unharmed, prithee tell him his wife yearns for his return. We are nearing the place your father died. Whatever happens, stay calm. So there you are, the traitor's children. How dare you! Thou spare me the nauseating drivel. Flogging Queenie's peachy island in the new world to some rebel upstarts? Ha! <laughs> Traitor is too generous a word. This guy's nice. Father would never have. He was the Queen's stalwart, a member of the Royal Council. He... He hung himself in one of my cells. I'd call that a rather conclusive admission of guilt. We did not come here to be insulted. We came to strike a bargain. The demolition man, Thomas. We want him. Oh, I vaguely remember him. Stubborn, with a loose mouth. Just as innocent as all the others. He is small fry. A bail has been set. Pay every penny of his money, and I will place him immediately at your disposal. Okay. I can't think why he'd be worth anything. Everyone here is beyond redemption. Search for the demolitions expert at the stone pit at Prison Governor's Island. Samuel Goods Engineer. Aye, that's me. Oh, that who's was asking? Him. That's the least I'm due for my suffering. Uh, okay. He is ready for transportation. I was hoping to take a little bit more time to get back into the, you know, money-making business. 
we're starting to drain our funds again, and I don't want to get back in that position. Command the prison governor's ship to your island. Keep an eye to the horizon for miscreants. One is my island again. Oh, we're over here. You've only gone and done it. Willie Wibblesock is thrilled to see you bailed out a convicted prisoner. Okay, we need more cash. We really need more cash. We also need more workers, and we've got too many farmers. Time this seems like time. a problem that can solve Sweet itself. Aspen. Okay, I'm going to leave that as is. I don't suppose there is anything that I can upgrade, maybe. Can we upgrade anything? How do you upgrade stuff? Okay, we... Oh, constructed. We've got too many fish and too many potatoes. I suppose in the short term, I could just start selling these. Set a minimum stock of 75. Oh, no, wait, that's not what I want. Seventy-five. So anything more than seventy-five gets sold. And fish. Eighty. Oh, he's here. Try to make a good first impression, eldest. Any friend of father is a friend of ours. <laughs> Talk to the demolitions expert who's waiting at your harbor. Oh, I'm a commodity now, to be bought and sold. Your father treated me like a human being. I don't know what you're trying to achieve here, but it won't bring Samuel back. New buildings have been unlocked. Okay. Mining for you, mining for Eli. What's the difference? Perhaps not refined enough for your sister, but at least your workers can start their dig. Excavation site, phase one. In order to blow a way through to Ditchwater's iron deposits, these abandoned tunnels will first need to be secured with scaffolding before any explosive charges can be placed. We need 25 bricks, Bright 25 planks. Will never be matched if that's what you're set on. Okay, so we just need to wait on bricks. Know a few what's turned to fat. We're starting to make more money again. That's good. Very good. We've got some space over here. We don't Oh my god, we have so many more workers than we need. I uh, We do have another clay deposit down here. I could put a few more to work there. to need a 
brick factory, and we're gonna undoubtedly need a warehouse as well. And we can get rid of the abandoned blacksmith. That'll give us some more resources. I checked the manifests. Not all our facilities are able to deliver the goods they produce. Please correct the situation. Oh, shoot, the road didn't connect. Eldest, you outdo yourself. Thank you. Nice. That'll help a lot with brick production. Um, how are we doing? Island average, 21. How are things looking over here? Happiness. Looking good. Oh, we need a church. Probably more than one, but at least one for sure. That's going to be another 25 bricks. I would rather get that done and get our people happy and productive and profitable before we worry about blowing up the charges. Put a on it. Okay. Now, another thing I could work on is um, I had to pause the sail maker because it was using up so much of our wool to make sails and I needed it for the workers outfits which we seem to be doing okay with the work clothes are going up pretty well a better solution to that would be to maybe make a couple more sheep farms so let's expand our roads down here enough fields. We must plant them. Hopefully that's close enough. It looks like it is. Yeah, it looks like it's doing pretty good. So they'll use that warehouse.
And that means I can probably unpause this. Oh, the machines! Break's over! Still, oh, we are still losing a little bit of stuff. Um, I go back to selling those when we're above 10. Likewise, these when we're above 20. selling schnapps. I don't want to sell bricks at all. Some of our residents are starting to get a little too far away. Dauntless, a schooner. We can go and sell this one. Adjust the sail. If you pop off now, you'll be back in time for tennis. A delivery quest. Righty ho. Mara and Anne Harlow have agreed to a ceasefire. Taking the initiative, excellent. There you go. Would you credit it? Delivered to Blake's ambassadorial clipper. 29 tons of bricks. That's a lot of bricks. Crap. Uh, where's the Enterprise? Get back home. Too many transporters. Maybe I do need another warehouse, actually. What I really need are bigger warehouses. When do I get medium warehouses? Wow, I've actually that extra 
brick factory over here. That helped immensely. We're getting so many bricks so quickly. That's actually really nice. How many is it that I need? Twenty-nine. We should have that pretty quickly, actually. Enterprise, where'd you go? Nice enough while still remaining deeply weird. That's just the way we like it. Twenty-nine bricks. Okay, we can do that now. Wait a second. We can change the ship's skin? You're kidding me. Imperial Command Ship, North Sea Clipper, Regal Plating Aesthetic, Regal Plating Aesthetic Imperial, Regal Plating Aesthetic North Sea Clipper, Autumnal Red Aesthetic. Oh man. Ah, you're ready. That really is first rate. Okay. like we need soap. Can we do soap? I think I was still trying to work that out in the other save. We can't. We can't do soap because we need iron for that. Or actually we need steel for that. So I guess it's about time we started looking at this. But we need our bricks there first. So what I really need is to get us profitable. Yep, that's true, Aranor. It's not the soap itself that's hard to make. It's the factory to create the soap. We need steel for it. for these ships that I need to make.
20 planks, 10 sails, 15 upkeep. Well, that's true. I could buy this deal. Basin of fat, love how caustic it is to produce, yes. Okay, I don't think I need to watch that too closely. Let's stick that there. Oh, that was quick. Okay. Uh, well... We're probably gonna need more pig farms. That's totally fine. For right now, though, I'm gonna just put this here. And this... was used not just for soap, but for tanning. Yep. And now, oh, expensive. Okay, let's turn off buying steel. We have enough for our purpose now. Um... more workers suddenly Tallow have something to do with boiling marrow from animal bones as well? I'm not super familiar with it, honestly. Rendered animal fat? Okay. Tallow being beef, lard being mostly pig, but also the rest. There we go. One final look. To meet our patron is 
utterly humbling. If there is anything I can do, anything really, imagine it, and we can do it. City becomes uglier. Ditchwater has let itself go, according to one of many visitors who claim the city is losing its appeal. Travel agents scratch their heads, saying there must be something we can do to get the turnstiles spinning again. Happiness and light. Ditchwater is quite full of mirth. Eight and three-fifths from ten is how I score my present feeling, one resident remarked during recent census. I'm really much Yet I am not completely delirious. New company takes root. G.W. Brewster settles First Island. Hopes abound that this seed will germinate into a great leafy tree, boughs heavy with golden fruit. In historic edition, we profile company pioneer and enjoy the positivity. Who knows if we shall see its like again. Okay, we need to edit this out. We want better happiness. Hypnosis or consumerism. Now we want we want people to be really, really happy. But you can't just I mean you can't leave it unedited, of course. You are happier than you think. Swing a pendulum before your eyes, repeating, I am happy. You will immediately feel a positive change within, or you should keep repeating it until you do. Of course, you know what's best. Yes, absolutely I do. Thank you for your cooperation, sir. Now we're looking pretty profitable. Your population is feeling restless. Only the police can restore order in the event of a riot. Glue my grandmother made soap from pig fat and sodium hydroxide. That's really interesting to see. Restless. I wonder if maybe that just means I have too many people. I guess one thing I can do is uh, we can start laying out the road to get to this excavation site. Ten more bricks, we've got the planks we need, we've got the workforce we need. So we're just waiting on that. And we're making quite a bit of money now, thankfully. Well, not quite a bit, but you know. We're in the positive, which is much better than last time.
eventually, if I need the space, what we can do is start moving some of these farms out into the, you know, the more edges of our territory so we can expand, consolidate the city centers, make room for larger buildings and stuff, but we really need that steel industry before I have to worry too much about that, I think. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Almost there. Just a little bit more. right nearby, aren't we? I completely forgot about that. They have to actually bring the resources to the place. So they've got to get the resources gathered, then they can start the timer. So in the meantime, Enterprise, where are you? That looks like an island that I have not discovered yet. And it's taking a while. Uh, soap seems to be working. I'm not worried about it being too terribly quick. If I need two tallow buildings, then I can get that going later on. It'll be okay. It's a much faster journey. Production has stopped. Construction of excavation site? That's fine. That's okay. They're merely waiting on resources.
new island has been discovered. Potato, hops, red pepper, and grapes. Yep, so production's a little bit slow, but it seems to be meeting our needs. So I'll improve that later on when it's more of a priority. Complete finish phase. I'm still waiting for the boom. That makes two of us. With the tunnels now secured with scaffolding, an expert in demolitions is needed to make sure the dynamite is all correctly wired and strategically placed. Requirements wool, worker workforce. Oh, we need more people. And one minute. That's okay. Boy, he smells good. We can get a few more people in. Three minute warning, guys. We're going to have our final break in about three minutes. Looks like we're starting to lag behind on workers as well. And I gotta be careful with building here because I do have this lumber yard here. I don't want to remove all of the trees. So maybe what I'll do is I will start building a few more houses up this way. That may require me to build a few more things. They're a little far from the city services. We might need, like, a tavern and such. Every rose has its thorns. Ooh, not enough fish. Interesting. Done. Far from a market, too. Okay. 
So let's improve the road connection here. And I will put in a brand new shiny marketplace. Right about, no, there. Market's good, fish is now good, work uniforms are good, and I was right, they're gonna need that tavern. guys. While all that settles into play, I need to take that break, so if you need to get up, now's a good time to do it. I'll meet you back here in three and a half to five. <laughs> this is so great. Oh god, that's not so great. Oh boy. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to work. <laughs> We can take another hit. Where am I going to want to stop these? Oh, whoops. A little before that. <laughs> what? Okay. I call BS on that. I haven't even set the fire yet. Well, if they're up to it, I might as well join in. What's a little casual arson between friends? I'm a little suspicious now. Uh, I quick saved, right? So. Yeah. Or science. This is bad. Okay, getting caught is bad. <clears throat> oh. Aloy, was it? Yes, the one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be good. Shut up. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, luckily he's a terrible shot. Oh. <laughs> I deserve that, let's be honest. Maybe we need to sacrifice a little bit of cheese. You fool! You've given cheese to a lactose intolerant volcano god! Do you know what that means? You brought about the coming of the divine dysentery! Run for your lives! Nice.
Wow, that was more spectacular than I'd hoped. Okay, I am back. And I agree, Shard Punk Verminfall was pretty fun. I might have to do some more of that one. Thank you again, Unstara. Your donation earlier was very, very appreciated. I'm sorry I don't have alerts so that I didn't catch it right as you did it. Thank you, Aaron Lar. Come on, game. Thank you, Unstara. Thank you, Kellen Ray. I'm not going to do the road there. Um, okay, how are we looking now? More schnapps, really. Okay. Wouldn't the schnapps need be fulfilled by proximity to a pub? Supply stable. Perfect. Where good can be produced in the old world. Supply effects, happiness, and coins. Click to prohibit consumption? No. Oh, okay. It is being supplied by that. We're good. People look fine. How are we doing? Phase two complete. Ignite the fuse. these busybodies. Blowing up rocks can't be that complicated. A shame you can't appreciate the craft this requires. Never mind. The charges have been primed. The perimeter cleared. We are ready to detonate. Boom. I love it. <laughs> My apologies. That was indeed impressive. Is there anything dynamite won't solve, I wonder? No. The answer is no. It will solve everything. A special edition for a special happening. This makes everybody happy. Big blast in the mountains secures vital iron load for ambitious good siblings venturing into warship manufacture for the monarch herself. Dynamite would solve our uncle, yes it would. Iron into steel, steel into arms, and we shall have fulfilled our first royal commission. Beautiful. Beautiful. Steel beams are the foundation of industrialization. We need iron. Iron mine. Also iron mine. Chance while well, your father still lived. Now he's dragging it out. Now he's gone. Charcoal kiln. Uh, oh, we first of all. It's got a little warehouse right there, so it's very close by and easily accessible. Get two of those. Connect up the road. There's a warehouse right here. You're being utterly ridiculous. Okay, we've got bricks, so... area. Oh, they're, yeah, okay, they're probably too tightly placed. Open the letter you were asked to deliver to Eli Bleakworth. 
Sorry, not sorry, Uncle. Uh, let's get this dragged out there, and we will Stand fix this. Stand to attention for the boss. That's right, sir. Get that out there. Look in my eyes. You are feeling sleepy and very helpful. It doesn't need its own dedicated warehouse, does it? I'm not as scary as you thought, eh? Nobody enjoys a life surrounded by pollution. You can check your island's contamination levels in your city's attractiveness menu. Pollution is getting worse. A place at least one person doesn't absolutely hate. Oh, we're no longer profitable. That's annoying. Let's get a furnace. You are trying, at least. I know Samuel wouldn't have given up. This is bothering me. Why the hell does that have no warehouse well, in range? Well, the town don't have a warehouse. There is a warehouse right down the road, sir. It used to be right next to you. You're being utterly ridiculous. Heavy industries produce at a slower rate. You can temporarily adjust working conditions to increase productivity. No. We're not going to do that. It's right here. Ugh. Maybe the problem isn't actually that. Maybe it's just we have so few workers compared to what we need. No, can't upgrade you. Well, that's not good. None of my farm worker things are upgradable. You've got our interests at heart. Crap. No. Oh, it looks like maybe we need more of these work clothes as well. Shoot. Man, we need more fish again. Workforce shortage. 
Yep, I'm I'm aware. Thank you, game. Working on it or trying to. <sighs> supply prohibited. What do you mean supply prohibited? Anybody have an, any idea what that means? Do I have something prohibited that shouldn't be prohibited yet? Yeah, we definitely need more clothing. Um, how is cotton looking? We still have tons of cotton. Might be time to start doing what I suggested earlier. We've got a lot of space down here. Oh, we still have... Let's get rid of that. I'm going to start shifting the farms further down this way. Greed is hollow like the smashed up local saloon and its pilfered loot boxes. Or lock boxes, rather. space here. What's this? Schnapps distillery? That's fine. That actually does put them a little bit farther from their... Yeah, okay, let's not do that. I'm going to... I'm going to move these guys as well. Gives us more here.
we're doing pretty good on bricks, so I think it's finally time I upgraded this road, especially because it's now so much longer. them away from it. Oh, God, how big those are. Oh, boy. Also, I'm not certain that they are in range of this road. Although they're not actually complaining about that. Workforce shortage. Okay, we've got lots of extra farmers now. Can we finally upgrade that some of these buildings? another church, but like for now, we're doing okay. Okay, so now how's the new industry all working out? She had cotton thread all over her bonnet. Okay, this. Oh. That would be the problem. The road to the mine was not quite long enough. Damn it. Well, that means that we can reorganize a little bit. You can go back here.
be there tonight. That can go there. What's that? That's that can go there. Okay, that looks so cool. Let's not worry about the soap so much right now. I want to keep an eye on our steel girder production. And, oh crap, the steelworks hasn't even been built yet. We need more workers for that, and we need 10 bricks, so I'd better stop upgrading roads, I guess. On the plus side, we are now profitable again, so that's pretty nice. buildings have been unlocked. Oh, what is this? A school? Provides a public service for your residents. Ah, oh, that's so cool. But we need bricks and we need steel for that, unfortunately. So we can't build that right away. and we're in business. Uh, except, shoot, we're gonna need more workers. Uh, we do have excess farmers, though. Oh, hang on, what's this? There be potholes, so watch out. I shouldn't ask. We've all we've ever wished for. Bloody hounds have the whole neighborhood terrorized. Sooner or later, a kid's gonna end up bitten. Lock them away, you must. I know you're busy, but I've a favor to ask. Beware the dogs. Find and collect the stray dogs. Uh... That's a chicken, not a dog. Where the heck are the stray dogs? <laughs> Don't even mind the neighbor. The detail is beautiful around here. Oh, there's one. Is that not a stray dog? Stand back, I would. Looks like the tubes need a flush. That looks like two stray dogs right there. I'm gonna need them to get out onto a roadway. That oh. blooming turnip was the size of her head. I 
don't even mind the neighbors. Back. Where are they? Anyway, I'll come back to that in a moment. We need to build the plant. There is no shame in producing weapons if it is in defense of the realm, Eldest. I never said there was any shame. What are you going on about? Just leaving a lurk while I nap for a bit. Thanks for streaming this game. It's so much fun, Ultra. I hope you get a chance to try it soon. Enjoy your nap. I'm really glad you're taking care of yourself, and I will catch you again soon. Okay. All right. Looks like we do need a few more farmers. So, where? There we go. Ching, please, I am curious about your otherworldly customs. Princess Ching runs her family Princess, subsidiary Princess in these parts with as steady a hand as she can muster. She'll be glad to interact with you, just make sure your intentions don't get lost in translation. I can't find these frickin' dogs, what the heck? I think it's lying to me about the stray dogs. I love the smell of you. Oh, we're still on route. Okay. Oh, we are producing steel. We've got 14 instead of 12. Excellent. Now, I do believe we probably need a school since we have been introduced to that. It's probably not a requirement. Let's move this house here. You can go down there. Ah. We still need more bricks and more steel before we can make it. But how big is it? Okay, we can fit it in there nicely when we are ready. Deliver to Wibblesox's weedy clipper, one glass hammer, and one toothless saw. There we go. We're making a fair bit of money now, at least relative to what I've made in the past. Very glad to see this.
Nice day for it. Framework knitters. I think I'm gonna move you. Not far, just to the other side of the road. But that will allow me to build more road. There we go. Okay, we've got 25 bricks. That's enough for the school. We still need steel, though. I wish I'd a goose for your kindness. There we go. We finally got it. Okay, now that we've got steel going, though, do I want to focus on the school right now or do I want to get the weapons going because that would allow me to fulfill these orders we need to build a couple of gunboats and a frigate also this has opened up a lot of other stuff up here we've got coal deposits there We've got oil over here. I don't think we can take advantage of oil yet. Yeah, okay, so we can't really do much yet. I don't think. Um, no, okay. Charcoal kiln, iron mine, furnace, that's all done. Weapon factory. could build this right now. How big is it? It's not even that big. Okay, you know what? Ooh, you gave me a fright. You ready? I am ready. I find myself looking up to you, as the youngest often will. Hannah is motivated to start constructing the military ships for Sir Archibald oh, Blake. Thank you, then spank you. There we go. Weapon factory. Watching these things going around doing their thing. It's like city skylines, but it's so cool to see a different era, you know?
let's go check the requirements for building the gunboats and the frigate while we're at it. Okay, so frigate. Artisans. Oh god, we can't do that. Okay. Oh jeez, the gunboat requires seven guns? That's gonna be a while. At this rate of production? Oof. <laughs> I think we can key this up better. That there. Maybe a little across there. Don't you worry about a thing. We're just going to key it up. We will be all good, and I will get the road put back in place. Only better than... Oh, well, uh, that, I guess that's fine. weapons. Five more to go. <sighs> okay, and that means that we can also take a look at the school, although what is it the weapons are consuming? It's not steel beams, is it? No, it's raw steel, so that's good. So we need production of both the beams and the weapons, but we're not actually consuming the beams by making the weapons. So we just need one more beam, and we're good for the school. Twenty. It's no bright sands, but it really is something. Thomas is starting to see the good in you. No less than we deserve. It's raining now, too. I love it. Better safe than sorry. Prepare your island's defenses in order to repel any enemy in the event of an attack. Place harbor defenses along the coast to protect your trading post. That requires eight steel beams and eight, eight weapons. Oh my god. Okay. We can start planning that, I guess. Mounted guns, cannon tower. This is where I'm going to be very glad I put all these keys up.
Okay, what do we got here? Shortage of workers. Oh, well, that's an older one. We're doing pretty good for farmers and workers. I can't believe I slept on this series for so long. This is so perfect for my gaming taste. What smog are you talking about? It's all the way up here. You're nowhere near it. Give me a break. Okay, where are we? We're, oh, we're all the way back here. Okay. Now, actually, I can start settling other islands now, can't I? Pretty soon. Where's this island here? I want to check the requirements. That's a sudden shift in the in the music. What's going on? We need two thousand five hundred dollars. We need ten planks. We need eight beams, and we need none of whatever that is. I don't know. <laughs> I'm in danger. Probably, Ben. Probably. as well. Oh. 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 I thought we were being attacked. Uh, it turns out we're being attacked by fire. Crap, that's not good. live under the stars? They can, but they don't like it very much. That's a lot of fire. Training daring firefighters. I think it might be. How are you doing, Caledra? It's really good to see you, by the way. The fire is out of control. An ongoing fire has consumed one of your business buildings. There's not much more I can do at the moment. Enterprise is back in port. We need 
these. What else do we need? Uh, we need planks. I think we've got enough planks. Was lurking for most of the stream. You're up to the on the 42-inch TV in the bedroom. That's amazing. Thank you. still spreading. Fire is the real enemy in this game, I swear. Fire erupts. As small fire breaks out in ditch water, fears multiply. It could become an all-consuming inferno. It's about time we had a great fire, says Bystander. I mean, it would be terrible, of course. Daring expansion. GW Brewster incorporates new territory in bold move. Hopes for splendid new settlement arise. Uninhabited island meets with humankind for the first time as company brings the secluded idol into the fold. The Renovations boost city appeal. Behind. Tenere has become noticeably more attractive. Recent campaigns to beautify the city's avenues and boulevards have begun to pay dividends for tourism as scenic vistas captivate the popular imagination. Hey, Cleric, how's it going? And you're up on my PC? That's amazing. Fire was the real enemy of a lot of cities in the 1800s. That's, yeah, that's not untrue. would call it misleading but you know what's best swing a pendulum before your eyes repeating i am happy you will immediately feel a positive change within or you should keep repeating it until you do all right that and the plague that's true that is true I think what we're going to do here is we're going to start building. We're going to keep it simple to begin with. Need a good road this way. Until the late 19th century, basic antibiotics were not in widespread use, so any disease was a potential plague. That's true. Okay, we need work 
her workforce as well. We might need to bring some materials from the other settlement over. on you and your house was a vile vindictive. Just one second. We need to snooze these ads. We're not doing another ad break. Switching to PC? No problem, Kellen Ray. There we go. There aren't enough of us. Come on, game. Nope, resume. But catch up. It really doesn't like it that much when I all tab out. taking a while to recover this time. That's not the best. Too kind, Kellen Ray. Oh god, it's it's I don't know that this is recovering this time. Oof. to actually save the game, but there we go. Uh. Okay. This is infuriating, and it's just about time for me to go anyway. I think since I did accidentally save... Come on. We will keep going next time. Like, this might be one of those games that you need to restart periodically. But it lasted just about the perfect amount of time. So I think we're going to find somebody to raid. It is roughly time for me to wrap up anyway. So it's pretty good timing on its part. Let's see who we've got online that we can go visit. Uh, looks like we have a few good options today, just offhand. It is just a bit more stable than Civ 5. I haven't played Civ 5 in so many years. Let's see. Metric is on, playing Cyberpunk 2077. 
Shambling Undead is doing Retro, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Ashlina is on. Don't know what she's going to be playing today. She always plays something. She might be doing another one of her demo days. Mop Garden is on. Uh, she's going to be playing Alex VR. I presume that's Half-Life Alex. Who else have we got? Oh, that looks like that's about it for today. So if any of that caught your attention... Yeah, it has been a little bit since we saw Metwick. Let's uh, see how he's doing with his cyberpunk playthrough. That's another one that I need to get back into myself. So I'm just loading up his channel here. Let's get over to catch him. I can type. There, there, what, uh, yeah, there we go. Metwick. There we go. And I will get you guys the raid call. Thank you guys so much for making this such an amazing stream. Thank you for your generosity with the charity stuff. I apologize for how badly I screwed it all up. I will have some alerts set up for tomorrow. I am very inspired to get all that working. So thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. I really, really appreciate it. Have yourselves a wonderful day, guys. We're going to go raid Metric, see how Cyberpunk is going. Uh, so if you are a sub here at the Library of Lore, you can use... Shh, it's a library raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote and the shh emote of the channel. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch raid and the Tomb raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emotes you feel are fun and appropriate for a raid. Uh, if you've got emotes of your own or from another streamer, maybe from Twitch themselves, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Metric Stream, see what's going on with him, see uh, what's happening. And I will be back tomorrow afternoon for some more charity fundraising goodness. I don't know what we're going to be playing yet, but whatever it is, you know it's going to be a good time. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world, and I'll catch you again real soon. Bye for now. Thank you.